to because I didn't want to. I even got my Baltimore Orioles shirt on. Oh, yeah. Baltimore represent. All right. We uh, even though the uh, Orioles stink, but <laughs> you know, I still like the um, I still like their logo. All right. Hopefully this stays on. Hopefully it stays on. Seems like this. Got sounds. sounds. I, dude, I had to move the microphone closer to me because in the last the lecture, microphone, you couldn't hear anything. The from me, me, the microphone. All right, I think we're good. Uh, good evening, afternoon, good morning. Um, it's Saturday. It's uh, five twenty-one p.m., folks. Saturday, August first. Is it East August already? Yep. Good lord. That's um, East Coast time here in um. The un-United States of America. <laughs> the onion states? Yes. Yeah. So. What's going on, Mass Master? What's up, Mass Master? Earl Moorhead. What's going on, bro? He said night. Missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. So James went out and got himself an 8S Creighton, and we're going to be putting in a Max 6 ESC. I have a Hobby Wing Max 6 laying around. Um, with an NTF racing fan. Uh, we did a demo on a Creighton, I don't know, no, what, almost a yourself. year ago maybe? Um, or when the, when the 8S Creighton first came out, we did a demo on it. We were super impressed with it. I honestly had to have one. Um, the only reason I'm throwing this in there is because um, there's a lot of telemetry stuff involved with the Firma electronics on this thing. Um not saying I dislike it or I like it. I'm just not a fan of any um, electronics that assist with my driving capability. So that's that's where we're at now. To me, so, it kind of interferes. A yeah, lot. yeah, and it. Uh, I think it stunts its performance. It does, and it doesn't let you drive the vehicle as aggressively as you want to. So, yeah, I do need a Max Five roadside RC. What's going but, on roadside? The way everything's going right now, I'm going to run the Max 6. I've actually done some research. The Max 6 will handle it, um, but the Firma hardware here or electronics just doesn't allow you to drive this thing as aggressive as you really want to. Earl says he's, Earl says his driving sucks. He crashes a lot. That's all right, man. <laughs> crashing, crashing is what people want to see. Crashing is bashing. Yeah, so... Just don't, just don't um, nose plant your stuff, your stuff like a lawn dart, and yeah, then say it's a concrete. piece of crap. Yeah. So don't crash stuff on purpose and say it's crap. Yeah, pretty much. So um, I'm also gonna put a Spectrum SR315 um, receiver in because this is the, um, it's a DSMR receiver, but it doesn't have all that gyro crap in it. You gonna be running the, the rugged. No, no, no. I'm going to I'm gonna link this to the DX3 that the uh, 8S oh, okay, came with. Got yeah. It. Yeah. The, the, is it, I guess this is a V2, and it comes with the DX3, which is nice. Yeah. And it also has a reinforcement back here that wasn't on the first one. That now, we are had. we sure the first one didn't have that? I'm positive, dude. Really? I went back and looked at the video, and I did not see that brace yeah. there. I, we, could, we could be wrong. It could have that. I mean, it could have, but I don't remember it. Right, and I seem to remember this not being, being one piece, being either being one piece or not having this taper on here. I think they changed yeah, something in here. I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, I um, have to compare it to Mike's. I'm not knocking Spectrum's electronics, their speed controllers, or anything. It's just uh, the added telemetry and the 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 limitation, the aggressive driving is just not for me. So we're gonna yank this uh, Firma. ESC off of here and throw the Max 6 on it. And from my understanding, the specs between the Firma and the Max 6, they're not that far off. Um, you know. He said the new 8 Johnny Sorensen. Uh -huh. What's going on, brother? He says that the new 8S Outcast comes with the Hobby Wing Max 6. That's awesome. Right. I think it's a rebranded one. I think it is too. I'm pretty sure that I think um, a lot of armor stuff is rebranded Hobby Wing, to be honest. It, that's the rumors I keep it, hearing. It has different firmware that's not as programmable as Hobby Wing though. Um, a lot of the a lot of the armor stuff is in fact rebranded Hobby Wing, with the exception of um, 
there's not as many tuning features um, included in the ESC. You have just just a few things, and that's it. Um, 11 Charlie RC, what's going on, bro? Um, did I miss anybody else? No. I think Earl I got Moorhead said, my Creighton 8S ESC shorted, shorted out. out from the fan wires, yeah. Huh. And then uh, somebody else said something. Oh, I guess Earl, Earl Moorhead, you got the EXB. What electronics did you put in the EXB? The Mass Master is asking, is it that much better than the original in order for you to be shocked? Uh, the Hobby Wing? I think it runs yeah. better. I yeah, think it I runs do. a lot better. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it may be the same, but I think it runs a heck of a lot Just to put it into perspective, the BLX 185, I swapped that out for a Hobby Wing Max 8. Um, and that was only 150 kV more than the BLX motor. And it was like a night and day difference. So... I'll, um, I also don't remember if these caps were on the original one that we used or the original one we demoed. Yeah, but to be honest with you, these little itty bitty caps incorporated in here, they're they're not helping a yeah, whole hell of a lot. Big ones here. Yeah, too. but these tiny itty bitty things, they're they're gonna do a minimal effort in the helping capacity, if anything. Yeah, but they so. also have this tuned down. Yeah. So Yeah, the firma the firma stuff is really, really tuned down, but um I want I want the aggressive driving capability that my Max 6 is going to give me. So that's what I'm going for. Uh, Earl said, yes, EXB. I like the 185 BLX 6S, but I'm trying the Castle 1717 MMX 8S now. The 8S setup, I hear good things about. Um, my only problem with that running 8S, it seems like the drive line would take a lot more punishment on 8S than 6S. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, anytime you take a 6S platform and you cram, you know, 8S voltage into it, it's something's going to become unhappy. So just be prepared. That's all. I think I got everybody. Oh, and I'm going to be doing another upgrade to this bad boy right here. Yeah. I got some, some shocks for it, some hot racing shocks. Quite a difference here in size. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> We're going to be upgrading the biggest and the smallest today. These axials, um, I don't know if you guys get into the SEX 24s. They're really very well detailed little trucks, especially for crawlers. Um, our favorite hobby shop always carries these, and they, they come pretty decently detailed. So it's just one of those little... I think my bumper's crooked. Yeah, well, it's more realistic. It, it's Chevrolet. Yeah. It's like a rock. Yeah. It's, but, it's um, hit a few rocks, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, you know, bang for the buck. They're really neat little vehicles. Um, we both got one last year and actually took them out in the snow. And the, what, what, what? Yeah, the deadbolts. Yeah, what was it? Um, About an inch of snow we got last year. This is the only thing that was able to go out and play in it. So. Yeah, it made crawling in my front path a, yeah. an adventure. So even with just one inch of snow, they're really fun. neat though. Um, what size battery does it have? Like a 330 milliamp? It's tiny, dude. Yeah, it's like 300 milliamp, I think. Is it? I thought it was smaller or something like that. It's 2S. Is that a hunt? What is that? I don't even know. Dude. Oh, it's a hundred and 350 milliamp 2S. Cool little trucks though. Fun around the house, fun in the yard. John Sorensen says it is too much power to drive. Um, the 8S, yeah. Earl Moorhead says 8S is way too much for the EXB, in my opinion. Yeah, I would. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Especially with the new diffs, I've heard a few issues with the new diffs. Well, now that I'm 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 reading up on a lot more on those new diffs, um, you know. Well, it's also the first gen of this are hit or miss. You got people that just grab the truck out of the box and they just throw electronics at it. They don't open stuff up and they just hit the road with it, you know. So um, that's the other thing we're going to be doing with this is going yeah. through everything. Yeah, I'm going to check the diff diff fluids, the the bulkhead. I keep thinking I'm going to hit my face on that hose. Watch your hose. Uh-oh. Remote control hobby says you goons are up on the TV at the shop. I feel bad for the watchers at the shop. I thought you guys were closed. No, they're open. They closed at what, six? Uh, yeah, six o'clock. Yep. Uh, 
Where, no, but where did I leave off at? Oh yeah, Mass Master says I like the twenty fourth scale stuff. Earl says, but eight S is so much fun. Eight S is a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. Just I always tell everybody if you're putting more voltage in a platform than what it was de designed for, you're definitely going to break stuff. He also I mean, says that was me throwing electronics in it and sending it. <laughs> so I've done the same. That but, was on the EXB. Did you have any issues with the diff? I'm just out of curiosity. Real Control Hobby says they're open for another half hour. Uh, and then Mass, or no, Earl says that the um, this looks like a Hot Wheel car next to the Creighton. Yeah, pretty kinda. much. Yeah, it's freaking tiny, man. Very functional, little itty bitty crawlers, guys, for 24th scale. They're really neat. He well, says he's had no issues with the diffs yet. That's good. Yeah, it's. I mean, you're obviously going to have issues with the first generation of anything, and right. people are going to people are going to be a lot more vocal about having issues. And it seems like there's more than there possibly yeah. are. So I'm just kind of keeping my eye on it, to be honest, because I want to upgrade the diffs on my Outcasts, and I'm going to go with those if they don't suck. I'm just hearing a ton of complaints about the EXB platform, and I'm like, well, you bought a you bought a roller, so if you went to the extent of getting a roller that has no electronics, you would think while putting that truck together or, you know, completing that truck, you would actually go through and check everything. Yeah. It's like, I, I don't understand what people think sometimes like, oh man, the diff housing, you know, wasn't completely packed full of fluid and it wasn't oozing out when I took it apart or, you know, the bulkheads weren't completely filled with grease, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Yeah, they are ready to run, but I guess people forget there's thousands of them made at a time. They're well, not going to be perfect. So. Anytime I get a new one, I kind of take it easy the first few times yeah. just because of that. I just um, – Then if I find anything wrong with it, I fix it. But. I just think people would learn a lot more about remote-controlled cars if when they first got their brand-new car, they took it home and they inspected it or they just took things apart to check them. But, you know, so many people want to throw batteries in and not check anything take it out and something breaks and you're like, Oh, it's a piece of junk. You know, yeah, I, I guess much. we're all different. You know, we you spend a lot of time on the, uh, on, uh, the forums that everybody goes to to cry. I spend time. on <laughs> I, I spend time on forums, but I start to learn. I've, I've learned how to read people between, um, people that just go on there and just, you know, get all upset and flip out and bad mouth things. And then I read the people that actually, are putting factual, helpful information up. And I don't think people realize it's not very hard to um, separate those people, especially, especially on social media, you know? Yeah. I don't think people realize it's, that's, it's that easy to say, man, this guy has no idea what he's talking about or this person's really helpful. I'm adding moderators. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Because remember we had issues that one time, and I had to make Mass Master uh, a moderator to be able to post something because my yeah, chat. Yeah, Earl Morehead said, "I feel like anything if I feel like anything if you're full full trigger everywhere, then yes, your diffs won't hold. Version four been good, no diff issues. That's good to hear, man. That's actually really good to hear. Yeah, because I really want to put those diffs into my Outcast. Yeah, I'm. They're very interesting. And I know he's probably going to want to put them in his crate too." Who, me? Yeah. The upgraded discs? No, nah, honestly, man, I, I You're love... You're just going to leave them? Yeah, I... To be honest with you, I'd love to see my discs grenade because I've put my 6S Creighton through hell and I can't be anything but happy with it, so... 11 Charlie says, don't forget to smash the like button. Yes, please, smash the like button. Yeah. Unless you think we suck. In that case, hit a thumbs yeah. down. I'll take any attention. My 6S crate, and I'm going to run until the diffs explode because I just want to be there to see what caused them after everything they've been through. You know? Zoe has joined us in the chat. She says the dog looks cute. That's my fur child. Yeah, Sparko. Yep. Yep. Uh, where did we leave off at? Uh, I think I got everybody. I am terrible with the comment section because I just read all over the place. Well... Nobody's perfect. Uh, yeah, I am far, far, far from perfect. He says, oh, yeah, that's what it is. I, was, I knew somebody said something about Facebook. Face, 
Facebook, huh? <laughs> he says, Earl Moorhead says, no Facebook for me, too much drama. Yep. So it's Facebook's, well, RC Mass Master says Facebook sucks. Send me an email. Dang. Earl says the only diff he broke was at 102 miles an hour into a pole with the infraction. We hit a curb a few weekends ago at about 55, 60 miles an hour. Yeah. Although you were slowing down a lot and you kind of sideswiped it. Oh, well, yeah, that construction site area we were at, every surface within the vicinity of that bashing area that we used on that construction site. Yeah, it was, was very, very bumpy. It was like dust covered, bumpy, gravelly, you slick. know, slick. Slick. So. Slick, but not like slippery. Yep. Just covered. Only diff dust. I broke was 102 miles an hour into a pole. That's awesome, though. What was that? See, Earl? but here, here's the thing, though. That's that's a cool way to break a diff. You know, you were actually having fun with it, and the diff broke. Last match, he says, did you find that battery? Who? Earl. Oh. Over the fence. So you launched the battery over the fence when you had that impact? Push him down. No, hey. no, no. Push. Oh. What are you doing? You can't be jumping. Yeah. Big Papa Paul's Radio Controlled Adventures. Just joined, but now from the title, hell is Max 6 an upgrade to a Crate and 8S? Yes, see, it's basically the same unit, not famous. It is the same unit, but um, it, it doesn't have all the extra unneeded telemetry features built into it. Uh, once again, if people don't know about the Firma ESC, it's got a lot of Where is performance there, inhibiting man? features built into it. Um, we have actually... Um, we have demoed one of these and we actually were one of the first ones to actually operate one in the state of Maryland. Um, we demoed it for our favorite hobby shop. Yeah. We weren't too impressed um, with the performance. The performance of this ESC does not compare to a max six. Uh, this is like a downplayed version of it. Um, Papa, I, um, big Papa Paul's actually got some cool videos. He runs a lot of yeah. uh, armor stuff. And to be honest with you, the Max 6 pumps out way more amperage than the uh, the Firma. I've already done a comparison um, looking at the amperage ratings. Earl said, yes, it was a twin motor infraction, held up well, and one battery took hours to find. That's kind of scary. At least you didn't find it by finding remote the flames. Remote Control Hobby says, you know you could say, yeah, Remote Control Hobby is a Baltimore North. Yeah, Papa Paul says uh, you guys want to just thanks for the yeah, Papa Paul. You had your infraction um, ESC light up, didn't you? I'm pretty sure I saw that video mm -hmm. months ago, but I remember seeing it. It was on a speed run, I think it was. You had it uh, melt yeah. down on you. That was on the infraction, now not the Creighton. And they really got these crammed in here. Hmm. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. I'm just imagining this lipo battery flying through the air. That's scary, especially into a pole. Yeah. All right, where are we starting? Um, I guess let's start by yanking this ESC out, and then we'll get to that receiver box. And um, we'll, uh, we'll start taking this bad boy apart. Um, the proof's going to be in the pudding, folks, when we actually get this thing fired up tomorrow, and I'm, I'm almost 100% guaranteed that... Um, yeah, I'm, we already know how it runs I already, stock, yeah. so, I mean, if, if it's me. a big difference, even if it's a little difference... It's going to be a better difference. We'll let you know. Yeah. I can't imagine it being a worse difference. No. Nah. Yeah, he just said uh, it was going 77 miles an hour when it burst into flames. Oh. I remember that because it melted his body. So, I also remember you talking to RC Dude eighty one about it, I believe, and they said something about the the uh, the packs needed to be updated or. Where's the screw at? I can't remember the whole story. It was a while ago. Speed. I'm surprised I even remember it at all. Speed runs all around are just harsh on everything. Yeah, they are. Um, they really are. Speed runs are just not good for anything. He said the two-sided tape is so strong on the lid of the Creighton 8S. Good luck. On the what? The lid of the Creighton 8S. Good luck. 
I think he's talking about maybe the receiver. Um, I mean, it is screwed to the lid. I don't know how it's. All we need for that is a flathead screwdriver to get this ESC off of here. I got you, man. I got you. Right. Sparko, where are you going, bro? Sparko's like gotta be in it, man. Paul says great memory. That was about eight months ago. Was good though, as Arma replaced everything, including the shell. Yeah, because I remember his shell got cooked up. Oh too. no, I got that off of there pretty easy. Okay. Um. Not gonna say it was easy. Place everything, including the shell, all within a week. Safe to say, I have it stock geared and just a drift car now. He said, "Yeah, they added tape with the screws on the top of the lid for the ESC." Yeah, Earl, we just ripped it apart. Yeah. So um, I don't know if you guys noticed, we use that industrial strength double sided Velcro stuff. John Sorensen is asking, "Is that?" Stock ESC, the same as the one that is coming with the new Outcast. Are you going to be? Are we going to get the Outcast? Knows. Neil knows. Yeah, because yeah, these these screws. Uh, I don't know. Remote Control Hobbies North of Baltimore. As soon as they get a uh, Max Five, and I'll be more than happy to come in and snatch it. That's small in there too. I was in a uh, remote control hobbies today, just peeking around to see if I could find anything bigger than what I got at hand. But um, with everything going on, you can't have everything readily available. But the owner was there. He heard me complaining what I need. Yeah, I did drop a screw down here somewhere, but we'll get it out. Remote control hobby says, tell Piper only three Uga Doug is putting it back together. No, it needs all the Uga It needs Uggas. all of them, man. Yeah. Not some, three of them, all of them. Whoever told you three lied to you. Yeah, that's so. not the proper torque spec. Yeah. Uh, as for the outcasts, yes, John, I am planning on getting an 8S outcast, but it's probably not going to be for a while. It took us how long to get the 8S Creighton? A long time. <laughs> a long time. You know, I got other things going on in life, and yeah. especially with everything going on right now, I'm not investing really a whole lot of money into a lot of things other than my savings account. Here's another thing that can limit how you want to drive the Creighton 8S is these receivers with your built-in telemetry. Um, it, this can either help your fun or hurt your fun. Yeah. It really takes control of your driving. It's... You are driving it, but this thing is doing some of the driving for you. And rather than messing with your AVC all day long, I just chuck this stuff. I I don't hate it 100%, but what? I like having my own control of oh, it. Oh, dude. All right, John. There is the ultimate answer for your question right there from Remote Control Hobbies. Yes. You guys are getting an ADS Outcast to play with because I need one in my life. You can use mine. Thank you, Mike. You're awesome. Thanks, Uncle Mike. Yeah, thank you, Uncle Mike. So, we'll have an 8S Outcast hopefully soon. Um, as for the ESC, um, I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, Mike, do you know if the ESC for the Outcast is the same as the ESC for the Creighton? For the Creighton? Come on, do it. Do it for the Creighton. Do it for the Creighton. I would imagine it is the same. Actually, well, I thought somebody said it was a hobby wing. What is going into the six S or eight S out? It is. They use all hobby wing stuff. I I can't understand why it's so. <laughs> why is it so hard for people to understand? Uh, RC Mass Master says I need an Uncle Mike. It's it's a it's a uh, it's a rebranded hobby wing. Get it together, people. I don't. I'm asking. I don't know. It is. I didn't know if it was a different one, a different hobby wing. Mm, it, it's all. I hobby. just want to see a straight hobby wing in the 8S Outcast. Well, I think that would be awesome. What's crazy? Rebranded crap. What's crazy That's is what I'm hoping for. 
I haven't even looked um, at it online. Look at the Red Cat Wendango, Wendago, whatever go uh, crawler. That's got the Hobby Wing Axe system in it. Um, I guess they have the patent for carrying that name in there because Mike not. says it's the same setup. Yeah. On the Outcast. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. So everybody's asking if they can get an Uncle Mike. Get your own Uncle Mike. Yeah, well, this is our Uncle Mike. Yeah. Mass Master says, yeah, but he's got dibs on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get your own Uncle Mike. Ryan Parker. What's yep. up, Squirrel? Squirrel, Squirrel, Squirrel. He said same firm on 160 AESC. So, yep, that's confirmed twice now. Yeah. Honestly, I haven't even looked at the 8S Outcast online because I know I'm just going to – I'm going to cry because it's going to be a while before I can get one. Oh, don't cry. I'm going to cry. You know what we can do? We can just cut this chassis down a little so bit. Sad. We'll just cut it right here and shrink everything. No, you just need bigger wheels. Yeah. Put bigger wheels on it, and then it'll, right. it'll seem like a shorter wheel right. base. Love it. Charlie says, welcome, Ryan. Oh. Uh, John Sorensen says, I, with you guys, no help driving, I want full control. Exactly. I want full aggressive driving ability. You know, I don't mind the stability stuff um, for certain things. But for bashing, But if you're going, like, all out, trying to do backflips and cool stuff and launching stuff, I, I, want, I don't want that to interfere with what I wanted to do. I'm sorry. I don't think that they're – gyro and everything is smart enough in there to understand where the ground is going to be in a second or two. It's just trying to tell the car to stay a certain way, but I need it to be another way because I know it's going to land screwed up if it doesn't change. Right. If that makes sense. That's kind of a rambling rant there, but I think it made sense. Trying to get this damn throttle pin in. Throttle. Mass Mash says AVC and TSM stops me from doing tricks. Yep. Hey, where's your um? Remote Control at Hobbies is asking for more live videos during shop hours. Well, you know. I'd like to do more live videos yeah. in general, to be honest. Our schedules just suck. I mean, we could always do the live video at the shop. Yeah, how about that? In the back what do you of think? the shop. You got a pair of... um. A pair of diagonal cutters. It's got that that what's the what you call it? The candy bar. Yeah, the next upgrade on this thing, guys, would probably be the servo. By the way, I don't like the stock servos in anything. Um, call me weird, but I I'll throw a reefs or a um, save ox. Mike says we are most entertaining. How are are you not entertained? Are we funny? Like how are we are you, funny? Do are, I we, to, are we clown funny? Do I need to scream like like gladiator? Are you not entertained? <laughs> I forgot about that scene. Yeah. I've only seen that movie once, dude. It's a long movie, man. It is. It's I old. really didn't I don't know. I didn't really think it was that great. Yeah, it's all right. It was okay. It's better than most of the crap they make today. Oh my god. What? He is just Yeah, man, that's what happens when you're old and you got a back issue. He just Wraps out, man. I feel bad for him. Yeah, poor Sparko. He's getting old, and uh, he's a dachshund, man. They're they're prone to back problems. He was jumping around, and he hurt his back. So now he's yep. just a big old baby right now, more so than normal. Yep. And I, I've been trying not to give this dog his pain meds because I want my dog to, you know, I don't want him to lay around like a lifeless lump. So. Well, you also don't want him to injure himself because he doesn't feel it either. Well, yeah, exactly. That's the other thing people don't realize. Man, I took my back medicine and my back feels great. And then three hours later, you've trashed your back all over again and don't know why. It's because you felt normal. Yeah, because it just masked it. It didn't so, fix it. I know when he's. I know when his back hurts because he'll um he'll get a little bit of a shake and a shiver from the pain. And then I'm like, all right, buddy, I'll take care of you. Remote so. Control Hobby says we should we should do a live stream from the shop. We did an interview from the shop. I don't see why we can't do a live stream from the shop. I think that would be pretty cool. Right. You guys have a lot of cool stuff in there right now that we could show people. Um, that Audi that just came in. Audi. The Audi. The Audi. And I can't remember what you got. In the what was oh, that sorry. thing? You got a um, you got a 4S LiPo anywhere what, with an EC5 on it. That's just got enough voltage to, to bind this thing. 
I have a 6S. Yeah, where's it at? With um, the EC5 on it? Oh, no. I got a, I got two 4Ss. I there. just need a single 4S with the EC5. I just want to... Well, is that enough, or do you need two? No, that's enough to power it on so we can bind it, so I can close the receiver box up. Sorry, Sparkle. You got to get... And then, last but not least, do we have any AA batteries? Yeah, I got a ton. No, I need some of these. You got an adapter? Yeah, somewhere. We come so prepared, guys. No charge batteries or anything. You know, that's actually why we were kind of late. We were going to do this at 5, but I had to find... We were actually going to do this... I had to find a 24... Millimeter. Millimeter in my... Yeah, garage. so we can take the wheels off. We were actually going to do this late at night, per I think usual. That's the wrong one. Yeah, you need a male... Or female, sorry, male... Um, Need a female EC5 to mail XT90. And then double A's. Uh, double A's are upstairs. I'll go grab them. That should be it right there. Yep. 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 Two yips and a wolf. I got a solid one too. Nah, this will work. The battery so, might be dead though. So. Dead. I never checked. Your battery's D D, huh? Sean's RC Adventures. Sup everyone. What's up, Sean? How you doing, man? Thank you for stopping by. Look, Sean, I got this just for you. I know you love it. What you got? Not enough power? Yeah, well. ESC is not getting, or the receiver is not getting juice. Plug it in backwards? No. Negative, positive. Probably you need to have a controller turned on, so. Oh, we get the batteries? Yeah. There we go. It needs to be bound. That's all. Sorry, guys. We're always um, we're always super organized down here. Can I get two, please? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Remote Control Hobbies of Baltimore North. They um. They've treated us pretty well since day one. Um, me and Richard first went in there um, about over two years ago, I, I would think, maybe almost three. And um, I had been out of the hobby for years. The last time I owned an RC car before that, I was like 14. So um, since day one, where's the controller? Is it upstairs? Oh, I never brought it down. I'll get it. I know where it's at. Yeah, since day one, me and Richard went into uh, Remote Control Hobbies, Baltimore North, and um, we started out. I need four. Got four dirt. We started out with some um, some hobby grade and en entry level cars, and um, you know we just worked our way up from there. Um, they never steered us in the wrong direction. Uh, anytime we were in there, and we were a pain in the ass, they were always a help. So. Um, we kind of built a relationship with the shop and the owner. So that's when we got into um, demos. Because Richard here, he's, you know, he's the editor and the brains behind the work. And he really enjoys the uh, photography. I've been in photography the for years. So I used to develop my own black and white photos yeah. in elementary school. That's how long photography has been in my life. So, um, you know, it was like a mutual friendship we built between the shop, and the cool part was... John Sorensen is leaving. Thanks, buddy, for hanging out. We got to demo all the cool stuff. Here, find out where I left off here. He said 300 is amazing. What is? I don't know. I'm not sure what he's referring to. 
Sean loves those. Yeah, he's talking about the 24. And bind. 11, Charlie, you got one of these for Sean's birthday? Oh, that's fantastic. And bind. They're saying Sean has a hidden closet full of these crawlers. Does he? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Trying to get the bind. Of all the times, it's super easy with these smart receivers. Sean's saying he's got nice fireworks to blow it up. Hmm. Let's see if I can do it right again. 11 Charlie says it's always good to have a good hobby shop like that, definitely. They've always been a huge help, and anybody's ever local in town, they don't mind spending time to walk you through things at all. Mass Master says he was a photographer. Uh, says he's got to go eat. He'll be back if we're still on later. Thanks for stopping by, Mass Master. We'll see you around. Says you putting the K8 on the rugged. No, we're putting it up to the, the – um, DX3. DX3 that it came with. Trying to get it to bind. James is having issues. Once in a while, you get one that's stubborn, and it doesn't want to work the way you want it to. Nathan Thompson, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully, I pronounced that name correctly. He says, what pit mat are we using? Uh, it's the... Uh, Cow RC. Yeah, the Moo Cow RC. It's just a small one. Oh, 11 Charlie said he also put peanut butter too. Nice. Peanut butter? Yeah. Peanut butter. All right, what's going on here? What? You got to get the organic peanut butter though, Charlie, so it separates, so it looks even more disgusting to him. <laughs> Sean says all 124 should be driven straight to the dumpster. Uh, Love and Charlie says loves Cow RC products. Real Patrol Hobby says they love Cow RC. Big Papa Adventures asking you guys running stock diff oils in your KA. Yes, we are for now. No, um, that's going to be changed. Oh, we probably. are changing it. Well, we're going to oh, check yeah. it, but yeah, I'd I. I mean, we're going to run it for now. Yeah, for that's, now. That's but, a, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Uh, we're going to eventually change it, but we want to see how it runs with this setup, and then we'll adjust the diff fluid accordingly. And Nathan so. says, thanks. I'm getting better at this comment stuff. It's confusing. Especially when you walk away to go grab batteries and stuff. Come on, bind. I don't know what it's doing. This is one of the first times I'm having bind issues. I mean, how many of these SR315s have I used now? Yeah, they're pretty, pretty straightforward most of the yeah. time. I mean, it's in binding mode. That's green, though. That's not purple. Green, yeah. What are you talking about purple? It doesn't look like purple or blue or something that's in binding mode. I don't know. Try to check it out. Here. I just forget which. Hey, Mike, how are we supposed to put this in the program mode? No, no, no. Bind mode. Not program bind. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. Yeah. All right, now try it because now it's flashing. Did you hit the bind button? Yeah. This thing's not acting right. There it goes. There it is. Right now we're good. Do that again. It lives. All right. It's alive. Partially. 
Good thing the throttle trim was adjusted good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the motor's not hooked up. Well, no, I know you. I didn't want to have the motor hooked up. I anyway. know you and your creating problems with them jumping across the kitchen. So this is going to be funny. You guys can believe me if you want to. Yeah, that's what I thought, Earl, but for some reason it wasn't cooperating. I, I had to uh, do it like five times just now. 6S Creighton showed up in the mail. I get all excited. I run it upstairs to the living room. He said we're too close to the receiver. <laughs> it, I mean, it could it be. It could be. I don't know. Um, it's working now, so that's all that matters. I, I run it upstairs. I take my crate out of the box, and uh, I'm just excited. I just can't help myself, right? So I forget to, after I put batteries in the, um, the transmitter, I didn't turn the transmitter on. I threw two 3S LiPos in the Creighton, and I hit the power button, and <laughs> the Creighton literally jumps off the table <laughs> in my living room. It flies across the table, hits the floor, goes across the floor, hits the wall, and just does a backflip. And I'm just sitting there like, WTF just happened. And when I told him, of course, he's overseas on a ship, and I thought it was the funniest thing. He was I just like, dude, you're full time. of crap. I said, swear to God, man. I was like, that is exactly what happened. He's like, you're kidding. I said, nope. So that is just, uh, especially at this thing. I, I, yeah. Hilarious. But luckily it didn't blow the window out in the living room. You had it run away twice. Um, other times too. The, it took out our neighbor's uh, bushes over here. Um, yeah, Which when one? it just decided to take off that one day, the blue yeah. house. Oh, yeah, I think because that tactic was going bad. Yeah, there was something squirrely going on. I just think it. the tactic. It was, just like shot out of nowhere. I just think the tactic just had a bad day that day, and it was just like I give up. Took out my neighbor's bushes. It was pretty funny. Yeah. I saw her out there later. She was yelling at her husband because he had mowed the lawn the day before. And what was he yelling at her So she was, she was yelling at him about hitting the, the bushes. So no, it was a garden. Yeah, that little yeah, bush. The, yeah, uh, whatever the hell it Tomatoes, is. Tomatoes, I believe. It looked like a little bush. Yeah. It got hit. Um. But yeah, guys. Um, I don't know. A few more minutes. Well, I got to get the, all those forest lipos out of the car. And uh, get those on charge. I got enough forest lipos for this thing to run three pack, three sets of packs through it. So. Should give us about 25 minutes of runtime <laughs> total. Should. Um, anybody has an 8S Creighton, what's what's the good diff fluid uh, weights to go with for uh, drivability, um, handling, grip? Has anybody got any any personal preference? I don't know. I think that's why per, uh, Paul was asking. I mean, I put million weight in my 6S Creighton, but that was a mistake in the center. Big Papa Paul says, awesome live, guys. Not been on long, but got to go. I'll definitely look out for your next one. Have a great night. You have a great night, too, man. Yeah, Thank nice you for meet stopping you, by. I think I'm caught up. I always, like, have to question myself because I go back and I watch, like, some of our – live stream and i see stuff that i missed and i'm like how did, uh, I, how did you know, I miss that honestly dude nobody's perfect and i'm sure it happens quite often i mean well that's why i moved the microphone over here because yeah. you couldn't even hear me on the last one i mean imagine all the people that watch the the big channels like my kevin, voice has got like uh kevin, it doesn't like to carry onto a microphone like kevin talbot he's got uh thousands of people watching him all at once and i can almost guarantee not everybody gets a response back because well, that's why you, how can you, you respond to, to that, that many, many people can't. yeah it'd be a full-time full-time job yeah um so as i would say just do the best you can this is very awkward awkward it is what's wrong well with having the body on this yeah here. richard got me started into these crawlers and it's become a crawling addiction same guy that got me into the Armas, and now I have an Arma addiction. Any of you guys have a bad influence from a friend that uh, got you involved in RC? Or just anything else in general. Um, I tend to do that. I don't know why, but... It's like, where did my dog go? 
He's on the couch. No, uh, he's not. He's not? He's right here, then. Where? It's usually underneath me. If he's yeah, my there. dog's a loner, guys. He just, you know. There he is. He's an old man. He's like that old biker. Just, you know, wanderer. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, when you get this one, this SCX24, the light bar isn't mounted on it, but it is on the silver one. And yeah, this bumper is a little loose. A hey, uh, remote control to... hobbies. Am I using too many Ugga Duggas? You have to work on that. Uh, where are we at? Rocky. What's going on, Rocky? Hey, yo, Adrian. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, says, got my Creighton EXB Mamba X running a Poseidon 1800 KV 8S motor. We doing it big. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. Do you have it hooked up and everything? Have you actually run it like that yet? Dude, you got a mosquito in here. They don't bother me. They're chewing me up. Remote control hobby says closing up. Catch back up with you guys. Closing up. You're not having a you're not having a party at the shop. Yeah, what's up, man? No party. Rocky says not yet. Soldering up the wires after lunch. Lunch. Yeah, after lunch. Where what are time, you at? What time? Yeah, where are you at? Yeah, because it's six oh seven p.m. here. Shit, we should take second lunch then. I mean, even in California, it's only one, three, well, two, three, or four. Well, four it might five. be lunchtime in California. I think it's a four-hour difference. Um, kind of. What kind of a? Uh, he said kind, it should be a monster, though. Yeah, of, I would imagine. What kind of three M you got laying around here? Anything tough? Three M? Yeah, double-sided tape. No, I got the some of that Velcro. Let me Not a whole lot. That though. Velcro I gave you. No. The other or do I need to go get it? I thought I had some of that harder. I'll tell you what. I will go get it. I'll be right back. You going to grab your batteries? Yeah. We'll throw those on charge because I feel like this needs to go to a parking lot tonight for a test run. We have a specific parking lot I got that, half a strip of that we like to take stuff to. I got the phone crap before I'm to you. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you can try to shove those ends into that ESC if I'm using it like that. <laughs> what? Put those, these in? Put those bullet ends into the ESC. I love that. Guys, I'll be back in like 10 minutes. A, A, B, B. Sparkle. What's going on, buddy? Stay out of there. Come here. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but these are always fun to try to shove in here. They always seem to be just a hair too big. But I guess that's the point. You want them tight. By the way, I don't know if you mentioned it or not, but that NTFS fan that we put onto the 6S Creighton is now... Um, on this one, uh, then we swapped out. Well, we put a, uh, I think it was a crazy pony onto the 6S Creighton. I got a few videos of it running with this NTFS on it. Um, it took a lot of punishment and it ran all day long and kept the ESC and the motor cool on the 6S Creighton. I was really impressed with those fans, to be honest. You never know how certain things are going to hold up to bashing. And those uh, NTFS fans worked and held up very, very well. Uh, Earl Moorhead, 3 p.m. in California. I knew it was somewhere around there. So that's, uh, that's only a three-hour difference. Why was I thinking it was a four-hour difference? Rocky says he's in California, but when you wake up at 1 p.m., laugh out loud, 3 p.m. is a good lunchtime. Yeah, I agree. I actually slept in till, well, I got up early. I got up around 9 a.m., then I fell back asleep and got back up around 1. Hmm. 
Hmm. Earl says, Rocky writes. Earl, what's going on, brother? You're the reason why I went big, even shouted you out in the last upload. That's funny. Rocky, you got a YouTube channel? I'm going to have to check it out. I've seen Earl's videos. Earl says, I wanted to stay 6S, but people wanted big pow. Unprofessional. Laugh out loud. An unprofessional YouTuber? I'm not a professional either. Far, far from it. So has it been like stupid hot in California this summer? Because in Maryland, it's been ridiculously hot here. Humid. It's like disgusting. I feel like I'm swimming in the air. RC Voodoo, what's going on, bro? So Voodoo and uh, Eleven Charlie, do you guys like those barrels I posted on Instagram? Uh, Steve's actually moving today. He started moving yesterday, and he was moving more stuff today. He's pretty much going to be doing it the rest of the weekend. He's still got to do the gas uh, the gas uh, the gas cans, but those barrels I think came out amazing. Uh, Rocky says my channel is like I point and shoot, no edit. I wish I had time. That's kind of how I started. Um, I just started doing slides, um, and then I just kind of progressed from there. And now I spend more time editing video than I do working and running RC cars. It's kind of funny, but I like the editing aspect of it. I really enjoy it. Um, lately, I haven't been putting out as many videos because I've just had too much stuff going on. So I kind of have a backlog of about 10 right now. What, I've got 10 a, videos yeah, backlog? Yeah. I've got about 90% of them done. I just got to do voiceovers and some other stuff. There we go. Got that. He says it's 98 right now and it's 315 in California. California. Voodoo said, hell yeah, those barrels are nice, great looking. Yeah, Steve is a very, scissors. very talented artist. We got scissors. Steve? Yeah. I Dyna mean, dynamic adhesion? Yeah, dynamic yeah. adhesion. I mean, he can, he can paint really well, but I know a lot of painters that can't draw for crap or anything like that, and Steve can do both. So, what is that? Is that your diffuser? Yeah, for the infraction that took a took a it took a curve like a to curb. the face. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, you know what? RC Adventures got to run, guys. Look, kids looking. F they goofed. Kids though. looking food the nerve of them. Oh, liking. F Look. I'm not sure what the hell you meant. They to say goofed. There. What is it? This is a diffuser for a limitless. Ah. Uh, yep. This is all for a limitless. I mean, it'll work, but. That's the only thing that looks questionable. This yeah. stuff looks the same. Gosh. Oh, it'll work. This looks the same. Yeah, it'll definitely work. It's going to look a little weird, but I need a diffuser. So Sean's out of here, man. Thanks for stopping by, Sean. Always awesome having you here. Sean's RC Adventures? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I enjoy him being around. He's a cool dude. Uh, Love and Charlie says they are very impressive. Yeah, I wish I had anything to do with that. Javier, that's all our buddy Steve. I will say though, I wish I had that kind of talent. Of all the things that can't be brought in, remote control hobbies always has batteries and chargers in stock. Always, that's one one thing that you can always go in there and get a battery when you need one. Who and, says get them mounted yet? Um, where's your chargers at? Did I get what mounted yet, Voodoo? Those are the 76 Hundos. I still got one good to go. Oh. I, I get sidetracked. Splitter, the only difference from the Limitless and the foam bumper. So, so Earl, well, this, this looks different than... That's the, a Limitless splitter. 
Yeah, that's, that's so that's what that he's talking is. about. Yeah. All right. So that is the only. It'll thing. work. I mean, if that's all they had available. Just going off memory, I knew that yeah. was the only thing that looked different. I mean, if I gotta trim it, I'll trim it. I don't care. Oh, he's asking Javier if good mount axes got mounted yet. Um. Got to take axles to Kissimmee. Is Kissimmee in Florida or Georgia? Kissimmee. Kissing me, kissing you. Push it. Whoop. Whoop. They really make sure they're in there, man. They really do. Did uh did Squirrel tell you what was wrong with his? Yeah, his, one of his was coming apart and it was arcing. Ugh. Poor kitty barely got to run that Baja Ray that long either. I felt bad for him. Yeah, we went out a few weeks ago with some guys from Remote Control Hobbies, Baltimore North, and um, you got needle nose? No. Well, I do, but it's just gonna pinch it. And poor yeah. squirrel had his losi out there and took it off one jump, and then it stopped working altogether. There she goes. Good lord, man! They want him in there, man. They they want you. That's Good the, lord! That's the fun plug, man. What are you talking about? Yeah. All right. Do me a favor. Hold that's that. the one she runs from. Hold that like that. Rich, what are we doing? Just hold. Yeah. That's the fun plug. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What? Uh, Florida, south of Orlando, is where Kissing Me is. But Earl says if you need a infraction splitter, I have one. I'll trade you because I need a limitless one. Um, are they able to DM you on here? Message you on this? No. Um, does he have you on Facebook? Instagram? I'm not on Facebook. What about Instagram? I, think, I don't know if I'm following Earl on Instagram. I'm terrible um, on Instagram. Yeah, we, if we can somehow exchange some information or Earl, take my phone number, dude. You can text me. If he's local to Florida. RC Voodoo, I think, is implying I'm mispronouncing it. He's saying it's Kasumi. Kasumi, Kissimmee. Kasumi, Kissimmee. It's all the same. Tomato, tomato. You know, I lived in York, Pennsylvania while I was in school, and everybody there calls it Lancaster. It's Meanwhile, the rest of the planet calls it Lancaster. Or Lancaster. Yeah, Lancaster. It's kind of funny. Rocky says, all right, fellas, finishing up lunch and getting this project done. Check out my channel to see the build. Y'all take care now. Yeah, dude, I'll definitely find you on YouTube. I want to see that monster in action. You have another for us? Oh, right look, now? he just sent you an email. Yeah, take a picture of that real quick. Um, well, it'll be in the chat. I know, but I just want it now. Here, just snap a picture of it. I don't know where my phone is. Turn the flash. Yeah. I know, guys. It looks weird. Some idiots taking a pic, but I'm just too busy. And pictures always. Uh, oh, you got your flash on. Yeah. Turn off the flash. Now, if I can remember right, how in the heck do you adjust these battery trays? I forgot. You can read that, right? Sure can. <laughs> you got it. Oh, uh, we're starting with that tonight, Voodoo. What? I don't think I have an option for a, a super chat, so it's it's not going to turn into a bidding war. <laughs> <laughs> um, two point five. You got we got? Two. I got. I'm going to adjust the battery straps or the battery trays. Yeah, because he just said um, Tyson is greater than Jones Jr. Laugh out loud. Are they talking about the Tyson Jones fight? I don't know. Is Voodoo? I'm confused. Is he fighting Jones? He's supposed to. Is that? Is that? I I didn't even know he was out like out of retirement. To be honest. All right, I'm dropping down. I don't pay I'm much attention. It, He's. I'm I sorry, think... Mike Tyson, hands down. You know, he might be he might not be the smartest. He's saying man fights in the on world. September twelfth. 
But, well, uh, then, I guess I know what I'm doing September 12th if I'm in front of a TV. But Mike Tyson is a monster. and Oh, it's an exhibition fight. Yeah. You really think Tyson's going to treat it like an exhibition? Tyson's like, oh, you, you want to fight? It is an exhibition, but... He said, you're getting close to 1K, then you can get Super Chat. Yeah, I'm slowly creeping up to 1,000. Hey, tell your friends. Help us out. Yeah, man. You know... One thing I always forget when I'm doing my voiceovers and stuff, you know, sharing is a huge, huge thing. Uh, sharing videos. I mean, I send people videos of other people all the time. Oh God, I forgot how to be honest, I just, I never really comment a lot on other people's videos, but I definitely watch a lot I of stuff. I watch and like a lot of stuff. I, I just, I, like, most of you guys that if I'm subscribed to you, I usually and only I comment if I have like a specific question. If I can't, if I don't have the time to sit and watch the whole video because my my work schedule is terrible, I usually, especially people's channels, I like. I take enough time to actually watch it for a few minutes if I can't watch all of it, and I give a thumbs up. So yeah, I, I at least do that. You that's know? that's my thing, man. If I, I just I'm, I, I communicate with so many different channels and stuff. It's like it's hard to keep up with all the videos to be honest and the ones i do keep up with i'm usually jumping to the next one before i can even make a comment or anything but yeah he says no one shares anymore for some reason yeah i've noticed that i don't seem to get many sent to me sharing is caring on, on messenger or anything sharing is caring folks that's why i try to make sure that i tag you guys on the uh, the instagram posts how heavy of an RC car do you want? How much you want your RC to cart away? All of it. Yeah, seriously. I will Did say. Did you need the batteries to? Well, I put them in there. To, yeah, I already sized it up. Look. Okay. I didn't know if you grabbed them or not. I'm like yeah. reading and got the dog humping my leg. He's humping your leg. Yeah, kind of. He's scratching at it. Yeah. Well, you haven't told him no, so you must like it. Um, Tyson doing Shark Week now. What? Tyson is doing Shark Week. That's awesome. That's hilarious. Yeah. I. Oh my god. I want to see him. Dude, I don't care. Dude, Shark he, Week. He's still hilarious in Hangover. Yeah. Like he was a funny dude in Hank. Where's that other four us at? That Zop. Uh, I just had it. Um. Where did I put it? Where's my phone? I put that right here. Let me see my phone. That is yours, right? Yep, sure is. We got similar cases. Where did I put that sop, dude? I don't know, man. I don't know. I was trying to fire it up. We're going to do some Bernies on the basement floor with this thing. Are yours what? dead? Huh? Are yours dead? Oh, there it is. They're brand Let's new. Do this they, right in front they of They got to be charged. Do you feel that? What the hell's going on with that? It's puffed. No. It's puffed. It's got a little puff to it. No, it felt like... Look, right here, you can feel the strap. The strap? Yeah, like where it tightens down the strap. Oh. It left an indentation. Well, sure, I didn't, that's good. I didn't crank it down tight. That's 11 probably... Charlie says I always... No, I'm talking about when I put it in my stuff. Oh. That's the one that goes into the Where's 4S trans, Outcast. Where's the transmitter? You know that's getting put in tight. Where'd you put that? Dude, I don't know what I Here it is. Understand. Guys, I don't know if you noticed this basement eats things. Yeah, I mean it's like right in front of me and I still can't find it. So where was I at? Oh. Tyson's doing shark videos. Roy already said he knows Tyson ain't gonna play around. <laughs> Grab that. It did it again. What did I say? <laughs> Turn yeah. the throttle down. <laughs> no, other way. Turn it the other way. There you go. Uh, I didn't even touch it. James is <laughs> dangerous. You notice I put the camera up there. It's not yeah. on the table. You want your mat? That every time, funny. dude. Every time. Again. <laughs> All right. Um, well, it works. It left a rug burn on my arm. Oh, man. Look. This servo is... Well, you also got a 4S battery hooked up to it. Yeah. Luckily, that wasn't full 8S. That would have yeah. hurt. That would have hurt. Is this a battery lot. almost dead? Yeah. 
That's why we're red lighting. All right, so it works. Hold on. Where'd the dog go? Uh, Voodoo says he thumbs down his videos just to break the ice. That's pretty funny. Oh. I'm so behind on the chat right now. <laughs> oh, look, now it works. We're good? I guess we're good. Dude, I can't believe it shot the mat straight out from under. It did, dude. You know what's sad is this mat is actually screwed into the table. Was screwed into the yeah, table. Yeah, it was screwed into the table. I'm not kidding, dude. That's going to leave like a blister. Where? Let me see. It's a little. Eh, it's not that bad. It kind of burned. Scroll down. I cannot wait to replay that. I want to see that in, again. Oh, all right. So where are we at? So he says we should share your videos on TikTok. A lot of audience. I don't have a TikTok account. I, I got even, rid of it. Don't use TikTok unless you want your phone hacked. I don't even know how TikTok works, to be honest. TikTok is bad for your phone. She is right, though. You do get a lot of views. What? On TikTok. You do, but how's your arm feel? Uh, it'll be all right. I'll lift. It's crazy. I didn't even touch the transmitter. It's like, rawr. It'll just it'll just make this red to kind of go with the brown. Yeah. So to get rid of the farmer tan. It's really hot down here, so I, I'm wearing a higher class of a tank top this time. Yeah, around. I don't know. I don't know what you got going on right now. It's really nice and cool. It's like a t-shirt, but with no sleeves. Send it. I can't see the scroll bar on this side. Earl Moore has to laugh out loud. Big RC to take off. If anybody says they've never had that happen to them, they're a liar. <laughs> Love and Charlie says need to get a big RC stand. Yeah. I, well, I have two. Usually when we work on the X-Max, I have two stands yeah. that I use. I should have just had them take the damn wheels off before I let them put any power to it, to be honest. It's hilarious. I'm not kidding. He's like he's got the worst luck with that. I don't understand. What, runaway it. RC. Yeah, runaway, runaway electric RC. Yeah. I, All right, so guys, and you asked me why I don't want to have anything to do with a nitro. I just, if you guys are subscribed to the page, just do us a favor. We got a couple more videos. Well, Richard does. Richard's the brains and. You know, he does all that. I, we use that term very loosely, brains. He's. I'm just entertainment, and I drive, and I break stuff. But, and he runs me over with his 8S um, Yeah. Hey, you ran me over with the X-Max once. This is true. Um, and that thing was almost full throttle and damn near killed me. Um, <clears throat> but it didn't hit you. Oh, no, but I, I didn't die, so it's okay. So um, It was pretty funny. He's got – we got another video coming out. And um, you guys have to watch it. But um, you talking about the coin purse one? Yeah, the coin purse. You guys really, if you can, was when the video comes out, take some time to watch it because this clip of this video will probably have just about 99.9% .9 of you laughing at me, making fun of me, and calling me an idiot. <laughs> but it's it's very it's very worth your time and your your laughs. Believe me. So, but anyway, the 8S Creighton works. You know, I could actually do that video as a standalone video. It doesn't have to go. You could. With the other you, ones. You could do something with it. It would be hilarious. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll make that the next video. What? The coin first. Yeah. But, um. Oh, what the hell, man? Man, I think if I had the Firma in there, it wouldn't have been so touchy and took off. You think? It wouldn't have uh, it wouldn't have made an aggressive move once energy was given to the ESC. No, that's why we went with the hobby wing. It just we just want it to go uh -huh. go now now. How much go do you want? All of All it. All of it. So you got batteries on charge. Daniel used to break my tripods left and right. Uh oh, what happened? I don't know. Running running into them. Sounds like it. Don't listen to him. TikTok is not good. I had TikTok on my phone, and my phone ran like crap. There is a lot of spyware on TikTok. 
Where? I thumb, where are my leads? RC Voodoo says I th I thumbs down my own videos just to break the ice. Yeah, that's why I said. That's funny. Dude, where are all my battery leads? My charge leads. Oh, oh, oh! Found one. We can get one at a time. What do you need? Another adapter? Yeah. Um. Probably the one that's already in look. the out or the Creighton. The Crouton. The Crouton. It's right here. The Crouton. But this is a this is a female EC5 to male XT90. It needs to be a male EC5 to a female XT90. Man, that thing just shot my shit all across the table. That was funny. This one. That's the that's not the one. What? Where's the one that was in it? That's the one that was in it. He's getting battle scars. Who? I have. A, I'm getting battle scars. I, I have a thumbs down fan club. Three to seven every video. Yeah, Charlie, TikTok's been banned in a lot of places because yeah. it's got a lot of Chinese um, spyware in it. Uh, we're not allowed on it. Where where I work, we're not allowed on Facebook anymore. We're not allowed on. We're not allowed on YouTube anymore. Twitter. Basically zero social media where I work. Anymore. I work for the local power company, so I keep as little of that shit on my phone as possible. Which sucks because if you're trying to promote a YouTube channel, it's like you yeah. have to have it, but it's like I mean you don't have to have it. It's just the new TikTok's just the new hype until something something else comes out. I mean, we started with MySpace, then Facebook, then Instagram, then Twitter. Now we got um TikTok. Well, I now mean, you got Twitch, LinkedIn, Linktree. I mean, there's so much crap that I I'm pretty sure after a while TikTok's just gonna fail, just like everything else. It'll get old. But what I noticed on TikTok is it's a lot of people asking for money for viewing their skits that they do on there, and I don't really find that talented. You know, um, they're they're 30 second skits, and they're like, you know donate this and i'm you know i'd rather pay for youtube so this is a 4s right yeah that is correct these are 4s's you want to know it's funny guys i think jumped across the table pretty hard with the single 4s lipo <laughs> It's Richard's fault. He wouldn't let me take the wheels off. Hey, I said nothing. Facebook is dangerous. People were showing up at my house. I didn't want to see. That's exactly correct because it's watched by the feds nonstop. Um, you know, it's watched by the American eyes all the time. TikTok's watched by foreign eyes. Yeah, China. Yep. Uh, China just lost that big contract for the uh, fiber optic cable system from Sydney to Hong Kong. Yeah, because in Sydney, mad at them. Uh, a lot of thing, a lot of people are mad at China right now for lots of things. The government, obviously, not the people of China. I think even talking about it may get me banned from YouTube. Nah, you'll be all right. No, but it was like social media just sucks because you have to be on social media to drive anything people to yeah. your to your YouTube channel. And I just I don't have time to learn half this shit stuff. Shit stuff. Shit stuff. Have to, to learn half this shit stuff. Okay, I, I think know. I got them on lipo balance charge. Hopefully they're not on nickel. That would be bad. Yeah, guys, my, my Creighton's pretty nasty on four. <laughs> he says, I have a thumbs down fan club, three to seven every video. Nice. nice. I, you, hey, you're doing better than me because I don't even get the thumbs down. You got to support your thumbs downers because they're actually taking enough time out of their day to I show don't up. even remove negative comments. I let them sit there and troll because I find it funny. It makes me laugh. Yeah, but isn't isn't uh isn't trolling considered viewing content? Yeah, I mean so. if they're gonna bash me and tell me that I'm a terrible editor or a terrible person, hey, fine. I don't do you care. You think we should You're take still the, watching my stuff? You think we should take the wheels off? I just found the socket. 
He says Facebook's dangerous people were showing up at his house. Wow. That's because you got to watch what you say on there. Big brother. So Hulk, Hulk, Hulk Hogan's brother. Yeah. So, Earl, Big brother. Pe people were showing up at your house. You're causing them to be that angry. You know what we want to know? It's funny. My bottle of vape juice went flying across your basement and it's nowhere to be found. Oh, the bottle of vape juice is gone? There yeah. it is. It I got found trucked. It, it I got found trucked. It. Oh, 11 Charlie's selling, saying uh, my arm is getting red. His arm is getting red? My arm is getting red. Nah, let me see. He said Richard's arm is getting red. It's actually not that bad. Nah. That's just a tan line. Nah. I'll live. I've been hit by worse in life. Much, much worse. Just wait till you see the next video Richard puts out, and you'll think that arm thing is just <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Believe oh. me, it's 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 worth every bit of, of, of every penny worth of laughing. It it really is. It's pretty damn funny. Quote unquote change purse. Your children fit are gonna feel that one. Yeah. Matter of fact, I, I can't wait for that snippet to be put up. Yeah, I don't understand Snapchat. Um, I barely understand Instagram. TikTok when it first came out, I didn't understand it. I still don't understand it. How long do you think those will take to charge? Facebook and Messenger, I understood when those came out. And now it's like I go onto Facebook and I don't even recognize Facebook anymore. They've changed so many things. Politics. If they should just call it a uh, politics book. Yeah, well, no, I mean, just how you do things. It's like photos that I've posted to my Facebook account. Mm hmm. I have to search for them now. It's not like where they used to be. Right. Because I don't really go on Facebook that much. And Instagram gets on my nerves because it's like, or not Instagram, but uh, Snapchat, because people I know uh, post stuff on Snapchat, and it's always just like the most mundane, ridiculous things. Like, here's my, here's my latte at Starbucks. I, I don't care. <laughs> Doesn't interest me. Eleven Charlie says that's why I got a fifty cal just in case someone unwanted <laughs> shows up. Yeah, I've got three forties sitting very nearby. I'll just leave it at that. I probably sit near him in his living room. And I like my know. I like my forty cal uh, Hydroshock hollow points. Those are my favorites. Quiet. YouTube is listening. I don't care. Well, I also got it. Well, I got a boomstick up there too. A boomstick, eh? Yeah. What? Oh, Sparkle. Sparkle's got to be part of the crowd. What's up, dude? What's up, man? Oh. Yeah, Sparkle was away in the doggy hospital for four days. Earl says I use my shop address for everything my. My driver's, driver's license has my shop address, and somehow Facebook got my home address. My ex was show Ah, that's that's a, here we go. The ex was showing up after I moved. She found me on Facebook. Yeah, that sucks. Sounds like a restraining order. Is yeah, it, is that it, sounds like a protective order needs to yeah. be made. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant like people on Facebook that were watching your stuff or something, like Facebook stalkers. Um, I actually have a friend of mine whose dad, you know, during the um, the election a couple years ago was trash talking one of the runner ups as president. And he said something he shouldn't have on Facebook. And the feds actually showed up at his house because he was making death threats to us. Uh, so called someone. Who was this? I can't say their name. No, I mean, I didn't. You never told me anything about this. Because uh, I forgot about it until we were talking about people showing up um, on Facebook. Uh Come on, dude. You got to get on the floor. I think somehow in that melee with the uh, with the Creighton, I lost a screw. Which screw? An amount. Amount to what? Yeah, for this. Because I think I had it sitting here. Oh, did you? Yeah. I think it got tossed. I'll find it on the floor later when I sweep. I'm just going to tell you now, it's probably not on the table. No. No, definitely not on the table. Definitely, definitely not on the table. Um, Richard had one of my cars run away in a, in a big parking lot a couple of weeks ago. Which one was that? 
That was the Creighton. Yeah, the 6S Creighton. He was messing with the, the <laughs> receiver. And it was the tactic. And the tactic was acting up. And I said, whatever, I'm done. It just needs a new receiver. Um, so Richard messes with the tactic. And then he turns it on. And the transmitter is not on. And my Creighton literally runs for Maryland Route 7 um, for traffic. Oh, yeah, dude. It took off. It took off like a bat out of hell, and I'm chasing it around the parking lot. Luckily, it's hitting a drainage gully, and it flips around, and it turns and goes a different direction. Yeah, it hit enough stuff that it flipped yeah. itself back around and came back, yeah. and I was just standing there the whole time just kind of laughing. I'm like, you're not going to catch it, and then it came back, so then I took off after it to catch it head on, but uh, yeah, that was that was entertaining. My fat ass was running around trying to chase it, getting winded. I was not having a good time. Mass Master says hi, everybody, again. I guess he went to go get something to eat. Yeah, yeah dude, that screw. Which screw I'm is I'm pretty it? sure it was down there. Which mount? The, those little teeny tiny ones for the, oh. for the, for the witch call. It. Oh, no. Oh, thank God it wasn't on the table. They're so small. I'm surprised that thing didn't get run over. Luckily, it didn't have much traction. It was too busy ripping the mat off the damn table. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, that was another thing that I was very um, paranoid about when I started doing videos at first on YouTube. I wanted to make sure that, you know, like my license plate wasn't there. I didn't like using people's real names. <laughs> That's why I came up with like stupid, <laughs> stupid nicknames for everybody. Everybody had a, a dumb nickname. You think anybody's going to want one of these? I mean, you can use it as a spare for something. Ah. Uh, six channel ABC SR 610. I mean, it's not a bad receiver. It's no, just, I just don't like telemetry. You can always use it in a crawler. That might be interesting to see. No, what because it actually counteracts your steering. I know. Up. I want to see what happens. You can really see just how it works in slow motion. Yeah, for some reason, when you get this one versus the silver one, it doesn't come with this uh, the light bar attached, but it's attached on the the other one. Oh, Earl Moorhead chasing an RC is like chasing a chicken. Yeah, that's kind of what we look like. Um, Luckily, nobody else was in the parking lot to watch it. It was pretty embarrassing. Mass Master says, what are you working on now? Right now, we're charging some 4S batteries, and I'm putting my my gigantic shocks. <laughs> I mean, these are the biggest shocks I think I've ever seen in my life. I, um, I'm hoping that the batteries are charged before the sun goes down. I'm going to wreck yeah, Richard's yard up. We're going <laughs> to... He's like, you're going to what? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I just wish I could take the camera outside. Yeah. So do us a favor. If you're not subscribed, please yeah. do. So that way we can actually do some live streams mobile. Share the video. Get some other people to subscribe it. You know, you don't have to watch them if you subscribe to it. Right. Just saying. We try our best, but I know we suck. But I would, we would really actually like to do some live streams mobile. All right, guys, just Long to give term. you an idea of how small these shocks are. This is, for even... the, this is for the SCX-24. That's the shock for the SCX-24. It's a hot racing shock. You can't, it's not even, it's so small it won't even focus. Yeah, look. Here, if I move over here, maybe it'll. Either way, you can see these are tiny shocks. Nope, no focus. Yeah, these are really, really small. Are they? Yeah. Did it come with extra springs for different rates? Or is it just two? Yeah, look. He said he picked up some. Yeah, there's two. But I don't know which one's which. No. It's not like it says. They're all the same. One's, the, one's black and one's silver, though. Yeah, the, the black springs are going to be your softer ones. Feel. Yeah, definitely. So do I want the soft ones or do no, I want the firm ones? Get the firm ones. That does feel a lot firmer. Get the firm ones. It's much more firmer. 
He says he picked up some shocks for the FTX Mini Outback 2.0. They are tiny. This is just insane, man. These shocks. How much were these things? Then he says, are they oil filled? Probably not. No. Yeah, I, don't, I doubt it. That's that's a definite probably no. They are awfully, awfully small, though. Well, I mean, think about it. It's sorry. I'm I don't even know how to like work on this. It's so tiny. Start by taking the wheels off. Here. I don't need Here, take your wheels <laughs> Get out of here with that, man. Oh, I can almost get to it right here. The bottom one is going to be the pain in there. Is it? One. Yeah. Take the wheels off. I don't want to take the wheel off. It'd be easier with the wheel off. I don't even know if I have a nut driver that small. Oh, man. I think I might have to use your bathroom soon. Wayback Burger is uh, working its way back. Why am I not surprised? What the hell? Um, what was I going to say? We got 14 viewers right now. That's insane. Dude, I cannot. There we um, go. Oh, oh, oh. RC Mass Master, I don't think they're oil filled, man. Uh, not that they would really need it. They're just, they're, they're actually kind of cool how small they are. Um, the fact that they can make stuff this small. It really is pretty cool. Dude, it's almost like there's no screw on the bottom. No? What's it doing? I can't get anything in there. Did you get it in there? I can get it in on top, not on the bottom. What? That doesn't make any sense. Let me see it. Dude, this thing is so freaking small. I know. Let me see it real quick. I think you can just pop it. I know, up. but let me put my eyes on it for a second. Nope, there's a screw. That's a screw. You need to take the, the wheel off. Nonsense. We need to take the wheel off. Nonsense. All right. Now that I can see where the hole is. Should have spit on it first. Don't you jump up there. You can't be jumping, dude. It's a tight fit, man. There we go. How long, how long do you think those batteries would be? How dead were they? I don't know. They they were balanced charge. Uh, well, they just had enough charge on them to be safe. I think but you just they pop were, these off. To be they honest. were brand new. Pop it off. Oh, uh, look at that! See, I didn't even have to take them off or take the screw out. You don't reuse these. Well, I'm gonna. No, you can't. You have to use these. Oh. Yeah, you have to use these screws to go back in. I forgot. Hot racing's different. Yep. Yeah. Are you sure they don't fit in there? Yeah, they're not going to. They're not going to because these no, are. No, because it's already got the pivot ball in there. Yeah. Hot racing is always different. He said itching to go out, are you, dude? I am. Who, me? Oh, he's been waiting for this 8S Creighton for a long time. Yeah. I've been waiting for it so long that I, I, I've. I felt like my 6S Creighton was an 8S Creighton, the way I, I ran it, trying to run it through big stuff. See, where's the... All right, so this is the stock. Wow, that's like really soft. With those springs? Yeah. Yeah. So I told you the black springs are, are stock all day long because I can even tell the silver ones are actually thicker. They um these are these are clicker pen springs. That's what they use. Yeah, seriously, that's what it looks like. That's what it feels like. Yeah. You want up here, buddy? Oh yeah, here's your hardware for the trade. What was that from? I think your receiver. No, this is the ESC. Is it? Yeah. You don't need that? Um, well, I I super duper velcroed it, so Sparkle's going to hang out up here. Sit. You keep scratching my leg. Good boy. You got eye boogers, man. Oh, that's... You always got eye boogies, man. Why do you wipe boogers in your face? Huh? You good boy? Because he's a dog. 
I'm actually kind of surprised they don't have multiple places to mount this. I think you should just run that thing in full droop mode. I could. That's what Steven likes to do. Droop. We actually have a friend of ours that has an SCX24. He just sold it, but he did the uh, he did the full carbon fiber chassis upgrade. I thought that was pretty neat. My hands are just not meant for something this small. I told you you should have took the wheel off. What's up, dude? Wheel shmeal. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah? Is that how you feel? Tell me how you feel. Nice to meet you, too. Um, itching to go out? Yes. Yes, I am. Anytime I get a new toy, I am itching to take it out. Oh, Mass Master, you weren't on a few minutes ago. Yeah, I ran Richard over with the Yeah, he ran me over with it. On he this was, table. He was itching so bad to take it out. Yeah. He ran me over with it. That's a common thing, though. What? It was crazy, though, because as soon as the ESC set itself, it's like idling forward. So I go to hit reverse, and it takes off forward. I'm like, typical um, throttles in reverse. So... Well, I learned something new today. What? That Tyson is making a comeback on September 12th. Dude, I can't wait to watch Mike Tyson. I, I mean, that's just awesome. He, he's a beast. I think he kind of sucked, though, when he made that second or that first comeback. Yeah, but he was going through a lot of crap at the time. Where he bit dude's ear off. Oh. Oh, he, he, he had Erios for dinner that night. Yeah. You never know. The other guy could have just said something so hateful in his ear. <laughs> who was it? I can't even remember. Holyfield. Who, well, oh, that's right. It was Holyfield. Yep. I remember that fight. I almost got into a fight at that. watching that fight. Why? Oh, uh, just jackasses. It's a long story. Um, yeah, they made so many T-shirts after that fight. That was just comical. I almost want to go get my SCX24 out. What you got to do to it? Nothing. Get it out of the box. Oh, go grab it. All right, I'll go grab it. <sighs> yeah, we ended up getting another one, too. Um, so, like we said, we already had the two Deadbolt SCX24s. So, we saw the C10s in the shop. And I thought they looked really cool. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of good detail on them. I I really like the way they look. So, we ended up both getting the C10. I got this one. He got the other one. Typhon, did you do that on purpose, Earl? Typhon, <laughs> looking old on Shark Week. I was shocked how small he got. He lost some. Uh, he lost some mass, did he? I know he's been doing that like Cartoon Network stuff. Um, what was it like, Tyson's Mysteries or something? Said I thought he was out of boxing and into weed now. Yeah, I don't know. Isn't Tyson sponsoring a weed farm or something, dude? I have no idea. I. I'm hardly ever on social media except for YouTube and sometimes Instagram. And I have basically tuned out of the world in the last eight months. I don't know what's going on anywhere. Earl says, you see, word correct knows me. Tyson is Typhon. I figure. <laughs> oh. There was a meme of him floating around not too long ago that really, really made me laugh. Um, basically, somebody saying something, and then it was a picture of him. And it basically just said, sorry, too soon. And they misspelled it, like, you know, with the SH. It was pretty funny. Mass Master says he saw it on Netflix. What... Uh, was that a documentary? 
Mass Master, I think you were talking about it the other day, or somebody somebody I know was talking about some kind of drug documentary on Netflix. That's hilarious. So they had Tyson bite the shark for the uh, Shark Week. That's fantastic. That is actually pretty damn funny. Oh my God, I do have a nut driver that will fit this. Yeah, I like Tyson um, when he first came out. Then I think he just kind of fell apart. I don't think it had anything to do with his fighting ability. I think it was just him, like stuff going on in his life. Said so now it was an episode made by a comedian. Oh, well. It would have been a lot funnier if they had him bite a shark. Just saying. Yeah, I don't think my hands are capable of working on something this tiny. This is actually going to take some concentration. Oh, we got it. I think it's just a much longer screw than the stock one. Is it? Yeah. The screws are too long? No, no. I'm just click. Cricket or ticket? Tyson so and all the girls got him into much trouble. Yes. I'm going to scooch you over. I want to check these batteries. I think the people that were supposed to be looking out for the guy were definitely not looking out for the guy. Damn, dude. 15.6 volts. I think I mean, they were taking advantage of the guy. 4.7 amps. But I, he's probably one of my favorite fighters of all time. Dude, those batteries are giving that charger the business. <laughs> I mean, she is kicking out some hot air. It's getting ready to rain, too. Is it? Yeah, man. That's why I wanted to get it outside. Just give it a test run before tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to – I'm not going to trash it, bash it, but I, I'm I'm going to give it a little bit of hell. Our CMM was it really funny. Was it – really, I just saw the promotional poster. Oh, he's so, talking uh, Marcy Mass Master. There's some funniness behind this one. There was one left. And um, me and Richard went in there, and they had a couple of them left, and I held off on it. So um, Vegas was bad for Tyson. What happens in Vegas didn't stay in Vegas. No, it did not. Um, I go in there. Me and Richard are in there the same day. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to get one of these. I'm going to hold off. And then I kind of regretted it because he got his home and got it out of the box. And I'm like, damn, that thing's kind of cool. So I go back up to the shop after he went again. He's like, yeah, man, I went in there. He's like, some a-hole bought the last SCX-24. I was like, are you serious? He goes, yep. So he kept bringing up some a-hole grabbing the last SCX-24. So um, You jinxed this. You made it so I had to take the wheel off. If you hadn't said anything, I would have been I fine. told you, man. Taking the wheel off would have just made it easier. So, Mass Master says he's looking for the documentary. On what? Uh, he's saying that there was a series on Netflix where they were talking about Tyson and uh, being in some kind of weed business now. Why not? I mean, yeah, it's cash cow now, and it's not illegal. So, Well, it is, but it isn't. Look, man, I... I could care less. I could care less because you, you think about all the kids or 18, 19, 20-year-olds, they get pulled over with a little bag of 
of devil's lettuce and they get their they get their life ruined for the rest of their life over some plant. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? So and plus when they decriminalize it, it gives the police officers to go do real police work instead of chasing down devil's lettuce, you know. Not to mention when when you make it legal. Not to mention there's a lot worse things out there right. than that. You make it legal and there's a lot less crime revolving around it, you know. I mean, I could be wrong. Everybody has a right to their own opinion, but that's how I look at it. That's all I did when I was in high school. I didn't do much else than that. I didn't see an issue with it. My parents hated it, but... Um, he said it wasn't a documentary. No? I, Mass Master, I don't remember if it was you or somebody else that was uh, telling me about it. It had something to do with just... It was like drugs in general. Oh, come on, man. Celebrities... But it was on Netflix, and it was a recently new thing. Celebrities, professional ball players, politicians, you know, millionaires. It doesn't matter. You're going to find something on them. You really are. It is what it is. I don't even know how tight to make these little tiny bastards. I don't know. Use the, use the impact gun. I'll get dug at it. Dude, I already feel like I'm going to rip it apart with my fingers. And I'm using, I'm being very, very I gentle. Can't, I actually can't believe you're upgrading the shots on that thing. They were just sitting there staring at me. Looking I was like, cool. yeah, I was like, all right, I'll try it. I'm sold. If Steve was there, he would have sold it to you. Yeah, man, trying to get your hands in here is kind of, kind of a pain. So how's everybody's weekend going so far? I don't know. You got to see a guy get hit, hit in his own basement by an RC car. I think that was pretty funny. <laughs> At least it wasn't in the uh, the change verse. At least it didn't hit me right in the face. Right in the face. Right in the face. face. Just, oh, look. Look. Look at that. Would you look at it? You got lights. Hell yeah. Dude, these are a lot stiffer. Are they? Oh, my God. Dude, look at that. All right. I don't know. Can we get this on video? All right. So look at the difference here. Hold on. I'll let you hold my truck in a minute. I'm just trying to get these. Look at the difference between the new ones in the front and the old ones in the rear. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. That is quite a How difference. How much were those shocks? Because now I think I need to get a set. <laughs> I mean, that is a huge difference. Because these are original on this Down one here, too. Look. There is not much room there. Really? Is that is it that serious? Yeah. Wow, dude. I mean, that is a huge difference. Yeah. Man. I mean, it's got some. They're a little taller too. Yeah. And they're adjustable. Now, a real friend would have gotten two sets of these. They only had one. Did they? Yeah. Look, man, you can do the Carolina thing. You know, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the car scene nowadays, but. It, down in the south in the United States, there's this thing that guys are doing with trucks. Donking? Where, yeah, no, it's something else. But I like the the, what they do is they lower the rear of the truck and raise the front of the truck. And that's a huge thing right now from like Virginia down to wherever, like all the southern states. It started in the Carolinas, but. Mass Master said he missed that bit where you ran me over. Yeah. It was funny. Yeah. But nobody got funny. hurt. I, I kind of expected around him. Uh, Levin I, Charlie says, later, guys, going to finish putting the shutters on the windows. Have a blessed weekend. Take it easy, Charlie or uh, Javier. I will catch up with you guys on uh, Monday night. And if uh, you're watching this and don't know already, Monday nights, I believe around 8 p.m., 9 p.m., uh, 11, Javier and 11 Charlie, they do a uh, live stream supporting our veterans. So check them right, out. Check them out. Earl Moorhead says, I'm just checking Creighton Gifts out. Yeah, he said something else earlier that um, what I forgot to mention. Earl did. He said he watches a lot of videos while he's working on cars. Oh, he works on automobiles? No, yeah, the oh. it's like RC stuff. Well, maybe oh, he's he might. working on cars, too. I used to listen to and kind of watch because, you know, watching while driving is dangerous. But uh, No, it's not. It tests your peripheral vision. I would listen to YouTube uh, videos all the time when I had a really big commute. 
Here, man, I'm going to deliver your shocks to you. Hold on. I mean, it's a pickup truck, right? Dude, I can't believe the difference those shocks made. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a set. I'm going to have to get another set now for my other one. Here. Special delivery. <laughs> I only need one for now. Yeah, I definitely like my 24. The first one I got, the stupid cheap batteries that came with the remote, they just decided that they were going to crap battery acid and destroy the remote. Hey, it's all right, man. My bumper's crooked, too. I don't know if it's crooked or if it's just because the uh, you don't have the body secured. No, I do. Look. Oh, you do? Yeah, they're just crooked. It's the way they sit in the box. Probably. I can, that I can, is cool, I can be okay with that, though. This, not the um, end of the world. This thing is so tiny, though, man. Is it? Oh, yeah. It's easier with the wheel off, isn't it? Or is it just you didn't want to have to take the wheel off? No, I didn't want to have to just take more it parts off. to take off. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I honestly I didn't can't think see the comments. I honestly didn't think I had a. Uh, I'm a full time mechanic as well at, at home RC tech. Yeah. I, I try my best to be an at-home RC tech. I, uh, I worked on motorcycles as a technician for six years, and I worked at a custom bike shop for five years. Yeah, so Richard wants nothing to do with any, um, no any, any vehicle that has an engine that burns combustible fuel. Yeah, I'm just done. Because I want to get a nitro, and he's like, no, don't, no. Nope. I'm like, all right. All right. So that's that. I don't know. I just want a nitro because it's something I, I haven't really gotten into. And uh, Dick over here tells me no. I don't so, tell you no. I just tell you I'm not going to work on it. Yeah. So that's him telling himself no because he yeah. doesn't want to work on it either. Um, I would work on it. No problem. It's just the tuning of it. I... I have no experience with that stuff. Now, if it was a dirt bike or a four-wheeler, I had no issues with those. But those little nitro cars, they're real finicky. I, I like my electrics. Um, yeah. Speaking of um, RC cars, do you got, any of you guys have a lot of uh, indoor RC places like indoor RC tracks local to you because um here in Maryland we don't have many and ever since I noticed we only have one nearby here and it's just a little carpet rug place I've contemplated every day how much of an investment it would be would it be a worth worth an investment to actually open one up Hassan Minaj Where's it? Where's it say that? Hassan Minaj was the dude. It's called Patriot Act. The episode. Oh, okay, gotcha. The episode is called "The Legal Marijuana Industry Is Rigged." Yes, it is. Everything's rigged, no matter what. Uh, I don't. Is it Buffett? Jimmy Buffett? No, Warren. Warren Buffett. Buffett. It's either Buffett or a guy that his first name starts with an S and ends with an R. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Ends with an S as well. I can't say his name. I might get banned on YouTube for that. Oh, I know you're talking about. But SOS? Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. SOS? But uh, he's been invested heavily in some medical marijuana. Dude, this little O-ring is tiny, yo. Let me see. What'd you pop it out for? I didn't do it on purpose. You got to put that in and then put the O-ring on it. You got to put get that. Get it on there first. You gotta got to put that through the, the shock body and then through the. I don't want to do it like that. All right. Yeah. Can't leave anything alone. Yeah, I mean, twenty fourth scale. It's gotta have. Gotta have new shocks. No, what happens? It's just is gotta have new shocks. When you get yours and you have to mount them, the big side goes out. Oh. Look, you can see it's tapered. Yeah. I put it the other way, and the O ring just pops straight off. I'm just gonna put. I'm just gonna put solid suspension in here. No shocks. To solve all my issues. Mass Master says no RC tracks there at all. 
Uh, yeah, we have nothing, man. We got one indoor track and it's carpet, and it's basically set up for buggies and truggies. Earl Moorhead says, I, want, I build picture cars for film and watch them on set takes a ton of time. Earl, I... Were you on... Um, I think it may have been you on um, CCXRC one night. I think you were the one talking about that, uh, working in the film industry. I remember now. Time to open a track there then. I, dude, I'm, I'm really, the problem is, is the, is there a good market for it? Yeah. Is it just going to be like a waste of money? Yeah. Cause, um, there's so many people that go to the hobby shop near us and most of us are taking it to construction sites or a Creek bed for crawling or a parking lot. And, um, there's really not much around here. And it was always a thought of mine. How much of an, uh, an investment would it be to, to open one up and, you know, will it make you money back? So, because there are, of course, a couple of guys on the Facebook pages that are local to here. They got little tracks in their backyard, but they're nothing, you know, that you're really going to be able to run around on. I'm just curious to see, like, um, how well the RC community is doing around the world, really. I mean, some of you guys are from out of the United States. Like, what do they have where you're at? Because um, it just – it seems like uh, with the internet and the way things are going, um, everybody getting stuff off the internet, I feel, I feel like the tracks just disappear. So, you know, a lot of those tracks probably made money off of selling cars and accessories. After dark, got an awesome, got an awesome crawling course. Indoor tracks take a while to make rent money back. Need to get big events going there. That's true, man. There's one way up in PA, but it's like an hour and a half away. It's yeah, it's a hike, and um, that's where a lot of people go to run competitions. Um, hell, I wish we could just buy a plot of land and just put an outdoor track in and put a fence around it. We'll just have to start a GoFundMe. You know, the people that are really into the um, the, the hobby would would probably do it just to have a place to go. You know, because after a while, your construction sites, the scenery changes on quick. You know, we, we go to one one weekend and then we go the next and the whole terrains change, which which isn't terrible. But then it just tells you, you're like, yep, this is going to be gone soon. Got to find somewhere else. That's why we go to this. Um, there's you a get kicked out. Here you get kicked out because we go to, somebody's running dirt bikes and causing trouble. Yeah, we go to this uh, golf course that has been converted to a public park, and the sand bunkers uh, on the golf course they have nice sand traps and they create like natural jumps. But we go there because it's you know it's there every weekend. Yeah, exactly. With a makeshift roof made out of tarps, need a roof for sun and rain. This is true. Yeah, outdoor is better on your land. This is definitely true. Yeah, so I got to go through and redo some of these now. Why? I got them on the wrong side. I think you should put some high clearance links on it, some um, some beef tube axles, a beefier servo. They got a lot of brass you can buy for these things. <laughs> Just weigh it down and give the motor more help. Hell yeah, man. But, um, yeah, man, we, we basically what I'm saying is we start to get bored, like trying to find things to do with the cars and where we can take them. Cause it seems like, um, you know, we've gone to a bunch of places and you're like, man, that place is all right. Probably won't come back to it. Maybe last resort type deal. Oh no, dude, look how small that is. What? Oh my God, that pin. I'm glad it didn't fall out. Mm -hmm. that little pin mm -hmm. jeez make sure you crank it down so it's just like a smiley face I don't want to do it on this one I'll no. do it on all the other ones not this one because that's a worm that's a uh, worm gear driven um, axle too these are way too you small you gotta be careful with those worm drive whatever they're called 
do the worm. Yeah, it's like worm. It's like worm drive. It, it's totally different than a regular, uh, like AR forty four or sixty. Damn, I didn't even put the speed pinion on it, and it's sitting out in the car. What speed pinion? Yeah. Are we going to put the speed pinion on? I think we should try it after we run it the first time. I got to charge up the GPS. GPS is definitely, definitely dead. Oof. That was a hell of a... We got a storm coming in. What are those batteries looking like? Um, I don't know. I can't see them. I got if one shock left on this. They're close to 16 volts. I'm okay with that because I don't plan on running it long at all. 15.9. They're almost done. I just let them go then. Keep going. Because I'll be done with this in about five minutes, then we'll just get off of here. Here, let's. Just to keep an eye on them. Just careful of the mic. Don't take the microphone out. You want to know what's funny is I connected all those air conditioners. Uh huh. I'm getting reports now saying that I'm using half the electricity that I used last year. Where'd you connect the air conditioners? Same place I connected all the other ones. So now you're using half? You know why? You because got the room's actually cool. It's cooling the home down. More efficiently. And yeah. The ones I got, probably not. Probably not so much. Well, the problem is, is if you're just trying to cool one room and nothing else, that room's constantly going to be hot. Mm -hmm. So it's constantly running overtime to make up for the fact that the other rooms are hot as hell. What's everybody else working on? Anybody got any uh, cool RC projects they're dealing with right now? Now I'm going to have to try to find something to put this in. I'm going to need some ideas for this one. I got an infraction, but I don't think this is going to be any good for an infraction. What do you think? I don't. I think it'll be fine in an infraction. Yeah, I might throw it in the infraction just for the hell of it. I mean, it's not like the infraction is getting tossed through the air or anything. Yeah, it can. I mean, worse things have happened. I, for some reason, I thought the infraction already had stability crap in it. It did in the um in the steering. This has got it for everything. This is this stalls throttle in the air and all kinds of crap. So you can be my bodyguard. So this is a 1.27. Yeah. You already had this? Yep. That's crazy. That's why I got it because it you came never with know. that. Yeah, it came with all those small sizes. I was like, eh, why not? Now don't crank it too tight. We're gonna do speed runs on these when we're done here. See what happens. <laughs> I really like that truck, though, man. That thing's cool. Yeah, I really like the C10. The yeah, shows. I like the dead. I had a too. friend in high school who had a C10. Yeah, I just got to swap uh, this one out. I need to adjust camber and toe on my slash, and I can't be bothered. <laughs> Who is that, um, Mass Master? Yeah. Mass Master, I have two slashes upstairs that I um I don't really mess with anymore. I was um I was telling a guy at the shop that I, I completely built one from scratch. LCG, I, um, Techno M6 dog bones, Techno 17-millimeter conversion, um, it, I put a Hobby Wing Max 10 SCT in it. Uh, techno Center Drive Shaft. I did X01 diffs. I put so much money into it. And um, what did I run it? Like one or two times? I think only twice. Or twice. I ran it twice and, and shelved it. I mean, it, t it turned out amazing. It's, I mean, actually, that SCT is now in um, the Creighton 4S. The Creighton 4S. Yeah. Um, but that slash with that SCT in there is a rocket. Like it was just, it, I think it was way too much, but I had it geared. I had, I, I put some crazy gearing in it. I think the spur gear I put in there was so big. I had to Dremel out the, um, the chassis housing to make it fit. It was kind of stupid, crazy. 
to say the least. 100 mile per hour, per hour 24 scale crawler. Yeah. I mean, we could probably do that with the uh, 4th of July mortar rocket on it. That would be pretty funny. Um, I don't know if you watch Drifto Maniacs. He's got that WL Toys 144001. Been seeing him um, talk about that thing an awful lot. Um, apparently, those little things do 40 miles an hour out of the box, but people are getting 60 to 100 out of them with like brushless upgrades. So I'm just curious now. Um, Which one was it? The WL Toys of 144001, that thing that uh, Drifto Maniacs was talking about. Is that the one I showed you the other day on Amazon? Was that now? That's a different one. Yeah. Um, yeah, Richard is cool, but WL Toys suck. Yeah, I mean, I've heard b bad mixed reviews about it, but I'm just curious. Like, I almost want to get one off Amazon and do something crazy and see how fast I can make it. Um, because it is a cheap car. Well, we got 16.14 volts. We're getting there. Getting there. I think it's fully charged at 16.8, but it's getting dark. Yeah. Yeah, I watch um, Drifto Maniacs. Um, he's a pretty cool, dude. Dude, I really want to see. What? Oh, no. What did you just drop? Did you just drop the wheel nut? I did. Oh, my God. You wonder why I didn't want to take it off. It's okay. I swept the floor earlier. Did you? Yeah. Well, it's got shit all over it now because the crate, I found it. Look at that. the crate and kicked junk off the table. Oh, yeah. I really I, I want to see that again. What? The Creighton taking yeah, off? Yeah, the Creighton. It was hilarious. Definitely funny. Funny, funny, funny. It won't come out? It went in crooked, and then it's like stuck. Here. Oh, you know what? Look at that. Would you look at that? Just look at it. I didn't know that it goes all it the goes way through. It goes all the way through, what? yeah. What? What? Yep. It's still fucking jacked up. I just it's call it the go. 14001 <laughs> or whatever <laughs> comes to mind. Sounds about right. Has anybody bought a bang not so good car that was decent? Remote control hobby says hit it harder. Hit it harder. That's what she said. Where did he come from? Is that Mike? Yeah. Is that Mike or Mikey? It's Mike. Mike. Mikey shows up as Mike. Does he? Mike and Mike. Mike and Ike. Mike, Mike, and, Mike and Ike. I know too many Mikes, man. So, Mike, when is this... Uh, outcast? When is this Outcast going to be uh, coming around town? Yeah, that's... um. Remote control hobbies, man. Um, All right, look at that. We've... Holy crap. We've dude. we've built a pretty cool relationship. Jeez. I mean, not only are the guys there like good friends of ours now, but we get to mess with all the coolest new stuff. And well, it's most of it. Most of a it. A lot of it, yeah. A lot of it. Um it's so bad that sometimes we have to keep our mouth shut. Because <laughs> <laughs> they they pretty much know what's coming out before the general public does. Um, Dude, look at the difference this makes. Yeah. Look, so that is that's stock. They've been ordered up. You'll be the first to know. Yeah, I love that. These are the new ones. Dude, look at that difference. Yeah, let me see. Holy crap, holy. Yeah, you should have got two sets of those. They only had one. Hey, Mike, while we got you on here, um, SCX 24 We're going to need another set of these uh, SCX 24 shocks, bro. They're awesome. I, you know, I kind of got them just because I thought they looked cute, but um, it gives it a ride height adjustment big time. The big thing right now that I'm seeing, and of course, I'll have to wait till I actually get it out, but look at the difference in ride height. In, well, no, the suspension traveling. But no, just I know. The suspension they're, in general. They're taller shocks. Those shocks are cool. All the brass is coming in too. Cool. Good deal. Nice. I'm going to definitely have to get another set for my deadbolt now. Damn you, Mike. Why did you get these? Mike at RCH. Um, 
remote control hobbies. See, that is, I cannot wait. To Anytime we tell out. him, can you get this in? It would be awesome if you did, or it'd be really cool if you got them in. He gets them. Um, that's like the um, what is it? The Hobby Wing 1080 Crawler ESC. We told him to bring those in because the crawler community really, he got them in and they, they just flew off the shelf nonstop. We still do for the most And part. Holmes Hobbies, too. He, he's always got Holmes Hobby stuff in. Oh, dude, I was in there today. He's got a um, the Hobby Wing Axe set up and yeah. the, the Castle Crawler set up in there, too. Yeah, he was telling me. Yeah. Mikey was if I didn't just pick it. that behemoth up, I, I wouldn't mind having either one of those. I just can't justify getting a, a brushless and. I just want to make yet. a fast crawler. Oh, oh, dude, I'll be right back. I gotta get the controller for this. Oh, look, look. How do you think it'll run off this? <laughs> I don't know, guys. A Firma powered twenty fourth scale, I'm, no problem. I'm waiting on brass too, out of stock. Turns out the brass, <laughs> the brass is is heavy. Yeah, that's tiny brass for those. Metal bumpers. Wait, metal bumpers for what? Remote control hobbies. Uh. Mike said something about metal bumpers coming in. What? Yeah. Metal bumpers. Yeah. Uh, for the SCX twenty four. Get and get the hell out of here. Bumpers for the SCX20. That's cool. Car says nice burp. Burp. Wait till I start ripping. She's talking about you're terrible. Terrible. Turns out the brass weights isn't heavier other than metals, so why brass? Um, the brass is a little bit heavier. Um Unless you're going to use steel, I think they choose brass because it doesn't, if you're taking a crawler out, brass doesn't really um, rust and corrode and stuff like that. Then it's more dense. It so is. in theory, you should be able to get the same weight with right. a less amount of material. Right. That's what I was just getting ready to say. A smaller size, maybe. I don't know. I put brass on one of my crawlers and it made some things not so difficult, especially going in the water. Dude, it I just, just feel like I'm going to break this every time I touch it. Why? Because it's so small. What? My big freaking mechanic hands is used to just throwing stuff around, and I'm not used to having this delicate stuff. I think that's the biggest deterrent for me in an airplane. They are so fragile. All right. <sighs> Dave Klein. Sorry, bro. I just caught you on there. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us here. He says, hello, fellow RC folk. Speaking of Dave, where's your, your buddy Dave, man? He went to Arizona for like three weeks. Did he? Yeah, he went to visit his parents. Oh, is that where he's from? Yeah. That explains a lot. He's from desert. No, no, no. He's he's not from there. Sorry, I was reading and kind of listening at the same time. Oh. No, he uh, his parents moved there. Oh, uh, he's basically been a Baltimore guy his whole life. Dude, I'm I'm definitely gonna need those shots. I gotta give it this servo. Look at this servo. I'm not worried about this one running away. That just looks cool, man. That oh, you know what look. is nice is I can actually. You get... put the Savox in the 24. No, man. Um, these are stock servos. I'm going to control hobbies. I thought about putting that little uh, Savox in there. I don't see the need, but. Oh, dude, I got so much ride height now. It's nice. Do you? Oh, yeah. Oh. I couldn't turn it all the way and hit anything because it would dig into the fender. Yeah, mine does that already. That's why I had to turn my steering right now. He thought I'd... You don't have to worry about it with the... Uh, he thought I'd put a save on it. Yeah, I saw that. 
I guess, I mean, they're naturally quick servos. I don't have to worry about it with the deadbolt because the deadbolt has no fender. But to me, this just looks more like an old redneck uh, Chevy. Chevy muggy truck. I don't care what anybody says. These, These things are, are cool. really fun, man. We took them out in the snow one year. We had an inch of snow on the ground, and they were they were a lot of fun. We didn't get enough snow to take the big stuff out because it just wasn't fun. We took these out, and it was actually a pretty damn good time. The other thing I was thinking about, dude, you could actually put these tires on it. Look. I'm going to screw that one up, too. Did you look at this? What? Try to stick these bigger tires under that thing. Yeah, that's good. See? Are those taller? Yeah. Well, I'll be done. They yep. are, aren't they? You could probably fit those on there. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna get another set for for this sucker. I mean, that's a lot of suspension travel. Yeah, they're taller and they got the stiffer spring, but there's more, a lot more flex to them. We're on the Car wants to know where Sparko is. Or how Sparko oh, is. Oh, he's on the couch. He um old man is snoozing. He um He's like zonked out. He, um, I'd go grab him, but he looks way too. Ever since his back issue, Mike, he's not just he hasn't been the same dog. He he spends a lot of time laying around, I guess, because he knows he's gonna hurt himself. So he gets up and moves around a little bit, and then after that, it's a wrap. So, Dave Klein says, "I love Savox until discovered reefs." Yeah, man. I yeah. yeah. I uh, so far, my opinion is is that Savox is a better bashing servo, but yeah. for a crawling servo, reefs has got it beat by far. Uh, I didn't. We couldn't get a. Um, a waterproof Savox, and I ended up going with the triple four, the Reefs. Is anybody able to give me any or give us any insight on OMG servos? Just out of curiosity. Um, We're having a debate with somebody. Yeah. And we'd uh, like to – well, we'll just leave it at that. There, There's a um, person that told me that OMG is um, – or Reefs RC servos or rebranded OMG um, – but that's that's all I, I can find out. So, well, that's all they said. I don't think they. But are. um, yeah, Sparko is laying on the couch, just being an old man. Right, Bubba? Sparko, don't uh, uh, uh. don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, dude. Don't You're jump. the one egging him on. No, no. I didn't mean to egg him on. I see his, <laughs> let's see if you pick his head up. Yeah, he says same power, way less noise. Yeah, um, the reef seems to be not as fast as the Savox I put into, like say my uh, my Outcast or anything. But they're a lot smoother, and they are definitely definitely quieter. I don't think they're um, as fast. They though. have the power all the time when you need it, though. Oh yeah, um, for sure. They are awesome. They uh, always have the they always have the torque you need. I got a – well, I wanted to put in a, uh, a waterproof Savox, but we didn't have one available. So you went with the Reef. So I went with the triple four just to see if it was worth it or not because, you know, sometimes there's just a lot of hype and it's all crap, you know. Yeah. So needless to say, I was pleasantly surprised, and that is pretty much the only servo we run on all of our crawlers now is the triple four. I tried his out, and he's like, you know you want one. You know you want one. Just spend the money and get one. Just spend the money and get one. Yeah, like one weekend later, I'm getting a um, – well, the only thing that was available was a triple five, and uh, that was like way more than I actually needed. And it's so much servo that you, you really need to put an external BC in. But, um, um, what with the triple four? No, triple five. Oh, I was gonna say, no, the triple four works great without you don't need a BEC for a triple four. Not mine. The only reason I put a BEC in to my SCX 10 2 is because I put a 550 in there with the triple four, yeah. so that's why I put a BEC into it. Yeah. But just a 540 can with a, a triple four, you're fine, no need for a BEC. 550, yeah, you were struggling. 
Dude, he gave me a wet willy yesterday. His breath stinks, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it was just, just no, is it right in my ear, man? Oh yeah, he loves you. Clearly. It's, I mean we don't we don't believe in personal space, huh? No, hell no. No. Why don't you go stare into the camera over there and we'll get more views because you're a lot cuter to look at than this mug here. He's talking to you, dude, not me. Nobody cares what this looks like. They want to see you, buddy. Come here. Oh, Come here. Dave Klein says no reefs is USA. Yeah, but I don't know. I've heard some things that Reef said on a, an what interview. Is it, what is it about? He was talking about having multiple. Rolling out to pick up dinner. What do you get for dinner, Mike? He don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe he, he might be off. He said text him. He's probably not watching anymore. Yeah, because I heard OMG's made in China. Well, I mean, and then Reefs himself said that he's also works with other servo manufacturers. manufacturers under different names. And if anything, I would think that OMG would be a rebranded Reefs of lower quality. That's not yeah. the other way around. Come here. What are you doing? Come here. I'm trying to go outside. I got to let him out to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Either that or he's going to take a dump on your mat. I don't care. Take him out. I'm, I'm, sure, <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure that would get some views. Oh, you're getting Mexican? Oh, I'm so jealous. Where are you going for Mexican food? Tell him I want a grilled steak burrito. I want some fried ice cream like nobody's business, man. I don't. Does anybody make fried ice cream in Baltimore? I don't get it, man. Oh, where'd I leave off? So, Mass Master says they are denser metals, but they are more expensive or brittle. Yeah, I don't know why they use brass, to be honest, unless he's got a point with it being exposed to the elements like water and stuff. You know, maybe it's for corrosion reasons. I don't know. But I think if you took a... Being denser, so we all know they have the brass inserts that go into the wheel nuts, right? So if you've got a wheel nut that's this size, well, we'll just call it well, we'll pretend it's the hex nut where the wheel goes onto, but if you've got one that's this size. The brass one is going to be heavier than the steel one. The steel one would have to be slightly larger um, going, you know, like this way instead of being the exact same size, if that makes sense. That would be the only reason I could think of that they would want to go with brass plus, plus brass is softer. So you may not damage stuff as much. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. But yeah, brass is a lot more expensive for sure. El Cabrito. All right, I'm going to have to look into that. Do they have a decent chimichanga? I, you know, I, I think El Saltos here in Parkville has fried ice cream, but I haven't been there in so long. I probably haven't been there in two years. I have been craving Mexican, good Mexican food for a very long time. Actually, ever since I went to San Diego, they had really good stuff down there. Dave Klein says, very strong, but no good in a creek. Are you, Dave, are you talking about steel or are you talking about the brass being good in a creek or not good in a creek? Yeah, I mean, honestly, the only thing I could think of that would be the most practical is, is you're going to use less material in that same amount of space, even if it's more expensive. What's going on, BMC? How are you doing, bro? I know steel is a lot stronger than brass. I'm pretty sure that's what you were talking about. But as soon as you get in contact with water, it's just going to rust up. 
That's why we um, we literally cover our crawlers in uh, utter butter. Everything gets covered in utter butter. I basically have like foam Q-tips that I just dip into the utter butter and I just give a nice glazing over everything to keep it from rusting. Oh, so I think this is almost fully charged. As soon as this gets charged, we're going to throw these batteries in and we're going to take this crating out. Awesome, man. What are you working on now, BMC? Anything cool? <laughs> Mass Mash says, I use, I can't believe it's not butter. That's fantastic. Do they have butter butter there, Mass Master? <laughs> to be honest, I didn't think it was anything special until I started using it. And now I love this stuff. Now, I think these springs are slightly bigger. They're just softer. Looks like it's got a different rate, too. I'll try it with these silver ones first. Then I'll take out take it out with these. Or actually when Mike gets me the other set, I'll put them on here with the black ones and I'll keep the silver ones on here. We'll see which ones do what. But they definitely feel softer than the silver ones. But they're longer than the stock ones, so Oh, uh, Earl Moorhead, I use 3D InstaShine. 3D InstaShine for rust prevention. To be honest, I have never even heard of that. BMC, what you missed was we got ourselves an 8S Creighton, and we swapped out the stock ESC for a Hobby Wing. Max 6 ESC. And yes, we know they are very similar. Some might even say the same, but there's different firmware and different software, and they're doing different things. And we like the way that the uh, Hobby Wing performs a little bit more. Um, BMC says, not much, just got my boat fixed. What kind of boat you got? I'm trying to RC fix up boat? my boat too. My my pro boat stealth wake. Oh, the stealth wake. Now there's batteries. What did you do with it then? Oh, I got I put a castle sidewinder in it, but I think it's going to be a little much. Yeah, you think? You know, blow heat. that. Yeah, you're going to blow the. Sh uh, what do those batteries look like? The shock. Man, they're oh, almost the done. done. Yeah, they're almost done. We got to get ready to hit the baseball field. You want to go at the baseball yeah. field? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even have any camera batteries charged up. You got a phone? I got no memory on it. I got a memory on mine. Earl says it costs the plastics not oily and stops rust pretty cool. Made by a company called 3D for automotive use. Is it a lithium-based lithium thing? Is it? What's that? Lithium polish coating? I no, He said it was called a 3D InstaShine. What? What yeah. do we got? Oh, got one done. He said, I think he meant to say it coats the plastics, but not oily. It stops rust pretty cool made by a company called 3D for automotive use. I use it on RC cars. We got one fool. Because RC Mass Master didn't like his WD-40. Try not to use WD-40 on your plastics. It, it does make stuff more flexible, but it softens up, so... It's also not a lubricant. No. It deter it repels water. It's good to use it to kind of spray it once you get water on it, but it's not going to preserve anything. I have fried more bearings putting WD-40 into them than anything else. Because it has sand in it. Well, plus it kicks out all the uh, all the oil. It doesn't mix well with oil, and it uh, repels water. Black oil. You mean gold. <laughs> Beverly Hillbillies. Hey, Richard, don't sit there. 
<laughs> Dave Klein says lithium grease works great. Mass Master says I have some research on rust prevention. I had a look on YouTube and this dude basically had the same results. So I trust them. His test was six more products than mine, but I had the same top three. Earl Moorhead said, I did a video on the 3D product makes plastic look brand new. All right. So I'm going to have to watch some freaking videos tonight. That's what you're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, BMC says he's got the Pro Boat 17 racer. I don't know which one that is. That's not the that's not the Geico one, is it? Um, seventeen. No. Is yeah, that a seventeen inch boat? I'm assuming. Dave Klein says marine grease for diffs. Yeah, I use marine, marine grease, grease or works uh, good. or, Hol or uh, Harley Davidson. Uh, what are you um, bearing? What are you attaching grease? this to? And I want to check these wheel lugs. Oh yeah, that's what I thought we were going to be doing. Guys, the batteries are almost charged. We got about an hour of daylight left, maybe. Yeah, see, I have 22 here. Hold that, hold that wheel steady. Oh, yeah, they're tight on there, dude. I thought we were going to be doing this shit while the battery's charged. I completely forgot. It's all right. That battery's almost done. And you can use it on your car's plastics. That's if you you can use it on that. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, I think we're done. That one's done too. Uh, BMC says it is the Geico one. The Miss Geico. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wasn't sure. That's sure. a fast little boat, man. Are you still cranking on these or what? No, they're tight, dude. You can't crank them at all. Did you check the other side? I can. Might want to turn your truck off. I like having the lights Jesus, on. Jesus, dude, they are tight, tight. I'm going to be crawling this in the dirt while you're playing with that, so don't run me so over. So what's this one doing? This one says it's almost charged. Yeah, it does that. It's that final little push of voltage. 16.77. It says it's full. You're good. No, the second one. Oh, this the one. The first one's done. It's only getting 7.7. 7. Yeah, but this one took 16.8. This one is taking, look. Yeah, you're almost done. It's I'm saying it's pushing 0.8 amps. Yeah. It's that final little bit. That That's that, little, that, that, that little last drop. Off, yeah. That last drippity drop. I you know, between get... the two of us, we do have at least two brain cells, so we can figure yeah. out most things. Teamwork. Look, he drinks leaded water. I eat lead paint chips. Yeah, so. it's balanced, man. Yeah. Yin and yang. Uh, what? Dave Klein says that's gigantic. He also said he is a crawler. So, Dave, you're a, you're a crawler. You're not into, uh, like, the bashing and stuff. We actually just got into crawling uh, over the wintertime. Yeah. And... We've already got way too many crawlers. Than yeah, we actually have more crawlers than bashers now. Yeah. And we swore we would never crawl. So anybody out there watching this that says crawling sucks and he, it's boring. He says that car is gigantic. <laughs> yeah. Give crawling a try. You'll probably end up finding it very relaxing and it costs you a lot less money in aggravation for sure. Uh, BMC says, what charger is that? This is a charger that I picked up off Amazon while I was away one year. It's not going to take anymore. Um, I don't even know what the heck it is. C24. Duo. C240 Duo. 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 And then it's got an HTRC in the bottom left-hand corner. All I know is I did some reviews and comparisons on it, and I went with that one. I cannot say that it's great or not. I don't endorse it. How's that? <laughs> that Just in case it does suck, because I'm still. This is one of my newer chargers, and uh, that thing will not take. It's barely taking. Oh my god, dude! It's like watching toast. You I know, know if you terrible. sit there and stare at it, it's not going. to But go. we're running out of daylight. <laughs> don't tell me. Tell the sun. Tell that. Anyway, I'm still playing around with this uh, this charger. 
and so far it's been pretty. I good. gotta get a test run on this thing before we take it out tomorrow. Earl says he crashes too hard to do speed runs, but still loves it. Yep. Why not? Dave says he crashes too much to bash. Yeah. Well, so do a lot of people. So they'll feel that it's just you. BMC says, oh, that one, it's a good charger. So you know which charger this is. That's cool because that you're ahead of the game with me on that one because I just remember spending about a week looking at battery chargers, and I ended up going with that one uh, while I was out on a trip. When, I think it was like, Jesus, when I got that last February, didn't I? Yeah. And that's, I have another one that I use more. That's when all kinds of shit was showing up at my house. Yeah. Dave Klein says, I love the crawling niche, so relaxing. Yeah, uh, that was that that was the biggest thing for us. It's so much less. Yeah, because look, this lipo took 5,500 milliamps. This one's at 5,700. Oh, my God. Just making sure. You are killing me, man. I, dude, it's getting dark out. You are killing me. It keeps it. He said, yeah, it's the HT, HTRC T40 Duo. <laughs> it's driving me nuts, I'm man. Just, I'm just watching you on the camera. Because it's getting dark. I got killing me. I want to get a run in on this thing. We'll get it. I got flashlights, oh, man. 15, it went to 16.79 and dropped down to 70. Oh, dude, we still had at least 20 minutes. Exactly. That's why I'm saying. We got at least 20 to 30 minutes. But on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we're going to sign off here because, as you can see, Hot Rod is just chomping at the bit to get this thing out. Can any of you blame me for wanting to get this thing out and test ran before I take it out for a beating tomorrow? Yeah. We're going to have to go through it when we come back. We won't be live streaming that. <laughs> Creighton don't care about the sun. No, but our eyes and vision do. Yeah. That's the only problem. Oh, we're at 16.7. Oh. There you go. Good. Yes. Are you happy now? Look, God. I can't. It, it's come on. He sat there and literally watched every second of the last five minutes of that charge. Yep. You're damn right. Yeah. I wish I could get him to focus like that. RC Mass Master else. said, and it's 1 a.m. <laughs> oh, it's 1 a.m. there. Yeah. yeah. Nice. 1 a.m. there. It's 7.53 p.m. here, Mass Master. Yeah, sunset is come and gone, so we're like in um, whatever you call it here, dusk. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, man. We are going to be getting out of here. We're going to go. Thanks for coming to the shit show. Yeah, we're going to get him out here so he can go take this out because uh, I'm never going to hear the end of it if we don't get out there like in the next 10 minutes. Yep. You won't. Oh, so thanks for hanging out, guys. And um, I don't know when we're going to do our next live stream or even what the hell we have. Um, I don't know. When we get back tonight, I got to finish working on the 6S Creighton. I got to get those bulkhead screws replaced. Yeah, I forgot about that. Maybe we can hop back on later. Yeah, that's in a future video. I got three videos coming up showing how that got damaged. <laughs> and They're then, almost done, though. Then you get to see how crazy that thing is with that hobby wing combo and those monstrous fans oh yeah that's right those fans are ridiculous the tnf or yeah the F tnf the tnf the tnf f and t hey richard e see you later uh yeah that's my pops oh he just hopped on here no he's been on here oh has he yeah he doesn't comment i don't know why i got people on here that watch that tell me they're watching but they never comment um, all right, we good? We're good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're, we're going to get out of here. All right, guys. So at some point next week, we'll probably do another live stream. But as always, our schedules suck, so we never know when. Uh, this time I did put a post on Instagram about two and a half hours before we went live. And we were still a half hour late getting on. So that should tell you how ridiculous our schedules are. But uh, – he says, I want to know if the Max – yeah, definitely Ma – Max 6, we're going yeah. to give an update on that ASAP. That's uh, that's really what we want to know because we can do a Max 5, but if we don't have to, then that's fantastic because we already got the Max 6. I'd love to do a Max 5, but this is what's available. I figure 
an ESC that won't sweat pushing this thing is better than one that's going to work extra. BMC says he's going to get a crate and 4S. I would recommend that or the Outcast 4S. The Creighton 4S. They're awesome. Yeah, I have that. He's got issues with his, but that's more of this problem right here. It's got way too much motor in it. <laughs> it's got it's got a lot of motor in it, dude. Compared. Yeah, we put a short course to, or a Hobby Wing Hobby Max Wing 10 SCT, SCT yeah. 4S 3200 KV versus the 4S 2400 KV, and we'll just say that I had to put smaller tires on it to slow it yeah, down. Yeah, it's stupid. stupid and it's fast. stupid fast. And, and he likes to do quadruple backflips with does, it, and it what? doesn't always land right. No, you'll see in the next it, video. You know what? Does, I'm putting that in the next video. It does quadruple the coin backflips. Coin purse 4S Creighton it is does, going to go next in the queue. It That's does quadruple backflips with ease. We'll just see yes. that. But it doesn't always land perfect. Uh uh. He says my 4S outcast on 6S. Oh, oh, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's insane. Crazy talk. 4S has barely got it. Zoe, thank you for hanging out. Um, I can't believe you actually made it through this entire thing. You are awesome. Zoe's uh, somebody that I play with on uh, my my game. It's getting dark. Uh, state of, the, state of uh, survival. Yeah, that's right. Awesome game. If anybody is interested in a mobile game, State of Survival, um, just give yourself a lot of time for it because it's quite addictive, and you actually meet a lot of cool people, and Zoe was one of the cool people that I met, and everybody else. We are out of here. I want to make sure Hot Rod gets his little RC fix here because he's hey, going to go crazy. I don't want to have to deal with bugs tomorrow. Get uh, them worked out tonight. All right. See you all later, everybody. See you guys.